Welcome everybody to Death Dragon Decadence. I'm Tormented by Gnomes, your game master and host. And joining me, we have a fantastic, talented crew. We've got Abora, we've got Androgen, we've got Bombay, we've got Boobasaurus, we've got Eva Destruction, we've got Maddie Morphosis. We are stacked and nutty. Uh, all right, cool. Boop, what's going on? Where are you? you uh, your situation looks odd. I'm in, I am in a San Diego at a residence inn. Um, it is right out of the 70s there's a full ass kitchenette over here which is like the first nice. time i've seen that in so so long but we also just wanted to say thank you to orc style a, a wonderful sponsor who does cosplay D, D related things and also adult oriented uh toys for adult oriented activities i like that one by the way so good copy there and then um outside of that we also have a couple more sponsors coming in um for the next session that we're all really excited about that hopefully y'all will be able to actually tell the difference of who the sponsor might be upcoming but a lot of really awesome things happening and just wanted to say thank you for all your support so far indeed wow. thank you everyone for joining us what no all right cool androgen what's going on how are you hi i am in an airbnb in queens new york <laughs> that's uh, that's 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 it that's all i got i'm role playing here <laughs> oh, are, are you asking where dimitri is or where i am no, this is this is you know we'll we'll get to your poor doomed party in a moment. All right, we have to do like oh. player player care first, then character death. It's that's the order of operations. Wait, are here. you trying to empower us to take the power away later? Is that what is that what he's you're being, doing he's right being now? With, um, that's what he's doing. He's doing um, before care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After care is off stream, but you know we just we gotta take care of your emotions before we devastate you. Um, I'm great. Pass it on to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie. How are things? Hi. Good to have you. I'm good. Happy to be here. I've drank a lot of Red Bull. I'm having slight heart palpitations, but I'm excited. That's that's the good stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. if we see you start to like buzz and become semi-translucent, um, uh -huh. we'll we'll stop the stream if we really have to. Like if it goes to full heart attack, let oh, us no, know. No. All right. Otherwise, well, you know, I'll, I'll work it into the character somehow. Yeah. We'll keep it going. Perfect. Yeah. Like, um, Fry in that episode of Futurama where he drinks a hundred cups of coffee and then and he finally achieves the enlightenment. Yes. Yes. Exactly. yes. <laughs> Eva Destruction, what is going on? Hello, I am coming to you live from Austin, Texas, from my house. How was tour? Cool. Oh, it was yeah, amazing. Was oh, that's right. The last time we played, I was in the middle of my hard candy tour, uh, and that was fantastic. We had eight glorious stops, and I got to see so many people. I sold a shit ton of merch, and I was able to be in all the little shows uh, across the mid eastern portion of the united states kind of like in a uh long shape and then i ended up in missouri and then i flew home last friday oh yeah welcome home glad it was and, a huge success and i'm very happy to say no covid no pre no post travel sickness so hey. we're good <laughs> <laughs> let's go yeah no con crud exactly <laughs> and the award for best dressed goes to Bombay. What's happening? See. Good evening, everybody. I'm Bombay, and I'm currently impaired. Uh, me? I, I'm I'm streaming from Toronto, which is why the the my eye patch is red, the Canadian flag. It's, it's also red because I'm bleeding. For the Canadian <laughs> flag. <laughs> Lots of parallels tonight. The symbolism is just layer upon layer upon layer. Exactly. Abhora, you legitimately had me wondering if your camera had frozen. You were holding that extremely well. How's it going over there? <laughs> I'm doing what just fine. Where am what? I? Well, I'm, I'm in my friend's kid's room with all these cute little plushy animals keeping me company. Oh. So Isn't that just fitting? And uh, I'm just coming back to you live from L.A. traffic, so I'm in the mood to kill something. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, please do not kidney stab the plush friends, but yeah, yeah we're <laughs> going to need to get some violence out. All right. So. The story thus far. Oh, no. In a land where the sun has been snatched from the sky and buried somewhere in the desert in an unmarked grave, vampires, werewolves, and fiends 
rule across the world. With immortality streaming through their fingers, they grow bored and detached and are forced to find new forms of debauchery just to feel anything. And on this night, the Marquis Donation de Charenton is hosting a grand formal event for all of his fellow dark lords across the land. An execution, the social event of the season. And some of the guests are not necessarily here to socialize. They have their own plans. Some of them harbor dreams of vengeance against the vampire Marquis. Some of them have designs upon his palace or secrets held by the prisoner who was to be executed. And others still seek the ancient relic of an older time, a druidic artifact called the Sun Circle's Heart, kept as a trophy by the Marquis somewhere within the palace. After infiltrating the castle, sneaking into the party, searching around in the back areas where they were not supposed to be, our heroes have found themselves in quite the conundrum. They have inadvertently made a pact with a powerful red hag who desires the Sun Circle's heart for herself. The Marquis' nemesis, the Duchess, has arrived, made a huge show of things, and secretly dealt with Brutus Betterbottom, saying that she wants the prisoner to survive. That's her objective. <laughs> That's going to be a <clears throat> slight problem for uh, reasons. <laughs> There's been a hiccup. A small hiccup. Crescent, the owner of the <laughs> finest adult establishment in town, Bombay's Bombay's, is lurking around mm. in the upper tower, having received a clue about the location of the Marquis' secret hidden coffins and perhaps the relic itself. Unfortunately, the defense mechanisms on this final door have claimed one eye. And to make matters it's not a worse, deal. It's not a deal. Fine. look it's at only her. And Dimitri, seeing for the first time the one who transformed and snatched away their mortality so long ago, leaving them in this caught between life and death, chose at that moment to contact the Marquis mentally, tell him that the Duchess sends her regards, and then hurl a psychic blade directly at the prisoner, just to stir up a little nonsense. And nonsense was indeed stirred up, but that blade sunk directly into the prisoner's chest. Perhaps he could have dealt with that sort of punishment. After all, the prisoner to be executed was, in fact, a vampire. But after so long of being deprived blood, kept in captivity and tormented by the Marquis, it was one blow too much. And so our heroes watch from the upper balcony, jaws dropping, as the Marquis' prized prisoner, the primary entertainment for the evening, crumples lifelessly to the ground. Uh -oh. when, you put, when you put it that way, it sounds a lot more serious than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> also, you're giving Dimitri way too much credit. There was not a single thought going through this. <laughs> as far as we know. Yeah, hey, was... It's my job to talk things up and make them sound fancy, yeah. all right? Yeah, I do yeah, what I can with what I got. Yeah. <laughs> no thoughts. Guys, we goofed up. We done, we done goofed. goofed. Okay, there <laughs> is a moment where everybody just freezes. Nobody's brains are functioning. To be fair, some of them are zombies and skeletons who don't have brains anymore. But the point is, this was an enormous shock. It would have been impossible for those present not to see the flash of purple light that zoomed from the upper balcony and then struck the prisoner down. You have perhaps a fraction of a moment to make your next decisions or your next panicked fight or flight responses. <laughs> what will our heroes who are in this room, including Brutus Betterbottom, who's on the bottom floor, directly next to the Duchess? We have a pause and a rewind on the table. Does somebody need to go back? Huh? No, um, I'm just playing around with stuff. Ah, okay. So those are our safety tools. If a scene is distressing you, you can put a pause on it and we'll just stop right there. If there's something that happened earlier that wasn't fair or that again is causing you concern you can play the rewind uh, and there's a couple of others in there as well so feel free to use those if at any point we cross a line or a veil that we discussed earlier or, or that i missed all good okay so you have a fraction of a second those of you who are in this room and then we'll go up to the tower okay visit with those folks 
So, in terms of this fraction of the second, is this just like the moment right before it hits? This is, uh, in my mind, this is the moment after the prisoner slumps dead to the ground. Okay, fuck. Um, so I mean, if, go... if you want to pitch something else, I'll hear you out. But... No, 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 this is good. This is good. I can, I can work with this. Um, I cast invisibility on myself. <gasps> okay. Yeah, and I go, I, I look at the Duchess and I go, be right back, and I cast out invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> One moment. <Ooh>. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm you just... vanish from. Yeah, because you're saying that I did see kind of I I saw impact and I could react in a way that would be reaction. Yes. Okay. Cool. The. Awesome. Yeah, Dimitri attacked from stealth, so there was no warning. But you would have seen, even if you weren't prepared for this bolt of purple light that just impaled cool. the prisoner. Um, and so the along with that, um, I'm also going to cast a uh, good berry real quick in my pocket. So I just have some. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You, you'll need... So those each take an action. Table. So you're going to have to pick one to do first. Invisibility. Great. And if you cast good berry after you've cast invisibility, you will lose the invisibility. So keep that in mind. Okay, I want to hear from everybody else in the room. One thing, knee jerk reaction. What do you do? I freeze. <laughs> Wait. Not again. Oh. That's logical. That's logical. That's logical. No, honestly, yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah. It's, for me, it's a lot of bombastic side eyes yeah. mm -hmm. at, the, for, at, me at this moment. Side yeah. I love that. Dimitri, honestly, probably is in the middle of a full blown panic attack blacked out and is probably coming to like kind of like you know like the ringing in the ears and then it subsides and then you kind of realize what you did when you blacked out mm -hmm. um so he's coming to realize what happened and he's probably just gonna slump in like a crouch position and uh proceed to have a panic attack <laughs> is what's gonna everyone pulling also an a M. reasonable response huh everyone's pulling an m now don't <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Dude. lost, scared, and confused. I'm like a child at Walmart on Black Friday. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I am. I don't know what just happened. I don't know where my mom is. <laughs> oh, is my mom I'm just kind of soaking in this moment, unfortunately. <laughs> Galen, I didn't I think ask you, might, you might be the only sentient life form who's still around, I'm afraid. Yeah. Um... Oh, there's that spell I was looking for. Anyways. Um... I I hear the collective intake of air and the gasp uh, as everyone's realizing what the fuck just happened downstairs. I take a peek over the balcony, and in my head it's shit, 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 shit. And then I, like, but my face is like... <laughs> so, uh, lame party, am I right? I look at the red hag as I'm saying that. Um... <laughs> And at the same time, I, I kind of crane my neck over the balcony, not able to see Brutus, but I, like, I remember um, as we were passing through the hall, I remember seeing Brutus before they magically disappeared. And I'll just go, just, um... Papa! Papa! As just a it's signal. A silence. It's like a dead silence <laughs> and you hear someone yelling, kick off. Sorry, I was just trying to clear my throat, that's all. Um, and so I look over at I look over at M uh as I'm sort of ending this exchange and I'm just going, uh you you good? You good do you Ooh. And I just give a the, are we doing this again? Are we I I, I give a mild like Okay one of like yeah, it's a very subtle. Oh, okay. An unconvincing head nod. By the way, um, I'm going to um, take my light crossbow uh, from under my cloak, and I'm going to throw it to M. I mean, like, you need to have a fucking weapon. Oh, no, I got, I got my, my bow back from the bathroom, because I ran down to change. Oh, so. I did yeah, not that is... hear that. So, okay. Cool. Sorry, yeah. Never mind. I stick it back under my cloak. <laughs> as much as I would love to have... <laughs> Two weapons. I think those two specific All right. won't go good hand in hand. Kind of I'm dual wielding a bow and a crossbow. <laughs> dual wielding bows. I mean, it's difficult. <laughs> you pull back Just holding it at the hill. Like... <laughs> okay, Kaylin, I need you to roll stealth because everyone in the. When you're peeking your head over the balcony. 
People in the room are looking up for the source of the attack. <gasps> oh, oh no! no. <laughs> right before, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right before this happens, I see where everyone's looking, right? Potentially, so I can pinpoint where the group is at this point. Lots yes, the the attack came from this side of the room, the western side of the room over here. Okay. 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 Um, I'm gonna cast guidance on myself. Um. Mm -hmm. And we're going to uh, roll for stealth. Okay, you get plus 1d4 on this because of guidance, right? Yep. And awesome. that's one of those, and that's a 1, 17. so 17. Cool, the uh, marquee rolled a 24. Oh my god. Wow. So, as... Yeah, I'll give him disadvantage because there's quite a bit going on. His prize prisoner just died and he thinks that the... Duchess did it, so I will give him disadvantage. I just bounced. I got a 19. He still saw you. Oh no, baby. That's cool. <laughs> what did he roll? Oh, like what what like what did he roll? Just what he rolled a 14 roll? on that second one. His modifier is but, plus five. Okay, got it. No, but what skill was he rolling? I just want to know what he's really good at. Perception. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. The one that's modified if you lose an eye. Oh. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. The Count looks up. Hatred burns in his eyes. The only person he sees is the satyr. Probably actually the huge red hag as well. She's kind of going to have some trouble uh, blending in. <laughs> and you just see his teeth out for a moment and his eyes are twitching and trembling roll a persuasion or deception check with disadvantage because you you're not even talking you're just gesturing right now <laughs> wait sorry persuasion sorry i don't have my glasses persuasion. on no it's fine it's fine okay. well that would give disadvantage on perception uh, we have to 12. think fast. We have to like really remedy the situation. I have an idea, but it has to be my turn. That's a twelve. Ten of my subjects' lives to the one who brings me her assassins. Okay, am I in earshot of that? Yeah, he spoke to the whole room. Everyone gathered. Okay. Okay, one second. So if I use hallucinatory, hallucinatory terrain to, like, walk the terrace, mm -hmm. uh, so at least, like, it was just, like, a quick look, I would come out of invisibility, right? Correct. Casting a spell will break invisibility. Okay. All right, keep going. I'm thinking. This is fun. Mm. Okay, uh... Um, oh, okay. And then, so I know I'm invisible now, so I did this out of order. Um, but I I go to the Duchess and mm -hmm. I, I tap her on the shoulder and I and I grab her and I say, I think you might need this. And I use Pass Without Trace. Oh, I love that spell. Huge fan of that spell. Uh, that is also gonna break yeah, your yeah, invisibility. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. cool. So it's just oh gonna be me. <laughs> So, no, 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 so this is just going to be me now, um, and I think I can work with that better, because I think the Duchess is going to be a lot more vulnerable, because they don't, they don't know I'm involved, so. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I'm going to use Pass Without Trace on the ju Duchess, so the Duchess can go where she needs to go. So there's a okay. dark shadow around her? Yes. Well, no, it emanates from Brutus Betterbottom. So anyone who Brutus chooses is engulfed by these veils, which makes them a lot harder to see. So it's like the Duchess is sort of just blending into the back in the shadows in the back row of the class where no one's going to call on her. Yeah. That's the goal. Cool. Um, yeah. And then we'll take it from there. All right. At his words, the mo he rises to his feet, snarls that, and then walks over to the baronet and looks down at the silver chains binding the young vampire as bit by bit that eternally youthful flesh begins to wither 
time starting to catch up, years upon years collapsing in, flesh becoming gaunt, bone itself crumbling into ash as his prized prisoner disintegrates before his very eyes. Would it be safe the, to assume that it... Oh, go, so go on, finish. No, you go ahead. Oh, no, finish, finish, your, finish the animation. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's happening. I've already described would it. Would it be safe to assume that that is how vampires die? Roll arcana or religion for me, please. I was going to ask. Like, I didn't see a puff, puff of smoke or anything. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. I'm so glad you asked. Anyone who is wondering that and is coherent enough to wonder that right now can roll arcana or religion. Okay, I have to look really close into this because I'm not wearing my glasses. And I'm you are. Oh, I was gonna say you're allowed to cheat if you have to. You can. You can. Peel yeah, back the eye arcana. patch. I am proficient in Arcana, so I'm gonna do it. Okay. There we go. Seventeen. Thank you, Eva. So there's multiple types of vampires, and each of them dies differently. Some oh, of them of they do. just turn into mist and then go back to their coffin. That tends to be like true vampires, elder vampires, things like that. Others dissolve into dust. Uh, psychic vampires, for example, when they're killed, they don't, they don't return to their coffins. So it's entirely possible that's what the baronet was. Either one of those other lesser variations or a psychic vampire. Interesting. You should be able to identify them based on like their traits and behaviors and such so that you can have some idea of what is and isn't effective against them. And whenever Dimitri's not like traumatized, he would have a better idea of this given that, you know, kind of is one or at least is vampire adjacent. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. He's always cool. traumatized. <laughs> okay. At least he's hot. <laughs> I would like everybody <laughs> who is in this room <laughs> right now, it. in this scene, to roll for initiative, please. No! Um, no hold on, hold on. I've, no. I've said this before. I've said this before. This run. does not necessarily mean that yeah. everyone has to fight. It just means that the order of operations is important, because he just told people 10 of my subjects' lives for whoever brings me the assassins. Okay. You I... can also run away from this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Eva. Twenty. I got a fourteen. Um, mine's seventeen. I got a eleven. Did mine roll? I don't think it rolled. Can I? Yeah, Maddie, you did roll. So oh, okay. Well, ignore after, the second one then. My bad. After hearing the Marquis say that as a reaction, mm -hmm. I would really love to touch uh my glowing purple tattoo and as i do uh, a billowing like black smoke starts to erupt from my fingertips and dead leaves start to fall to the ground and i cast armor of shadows on myself casting mage mm -hmm. armor on me so great okay i'm fine with that um i will give each person one such action after all brutus was able to cast two spells before the excrement struck the overhead oscillator. So each of you in this room may have one additional action. And then right after we roll for initiative, we're going up to the tower. My AC okay. just increased. I'm going to, since I'm still psychic linked to uh, the marquee, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell him you're looking in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and then like slowly like, co like <laughs> come back and stand up. Um, see Kaylin just out in the open, just peering over the damn balcony, and I'm gonna, like, briskly, uh, like, walk over, grab, grab him by the scruff, and I'm like, we gotta get out of here, we gotta get out of here, <laughs> and I'm gonna continue down the hall. <laughs> All right. Off you go. Exit. Pursued by a bear. Um, <laughs> what about M? What are you up to? Well, if I'm with him and they just pulled, um, like, if Dimitri just pulled him into the hall, then I have to go, too. I'm the only one dressed as a guard, so odds are I'm going to have to be putting on some performance chops very soon. So I, fo I follow, too. <laughs> I clink in armor that is slightly too big for me right behind. Clink, clink, clink. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get all of you at least into the next room before everyone and their mother comes after you. 
Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, leave leave our heroes there as we turn our attention now to elsewhere in the tower. <laughs> Scrambles and Tom the Skeleton are both just downstairs, if I recall correctly. Yes. All right. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put you on the map, at least, you know, in spirit, even if you're not physically present. And Crescent, refresh me. Your second attempt to bust this lock did involved not stabbing out your second eye. Did you, in fact, suc succeed in opening yes, it? Yes, I did. No, I did open the lock. I did not open the lock. Mm -hmm. um, but you yeah. uh, disarmed the trap. Is that correct? I, I don't think so, but that would be a lovely, a lovely... <laughs> well, you can roll with your thieves tools right now if you'd like. <laughs> is, it, is, it, wait, is it my turn? Are we, is yeah. It, we're up to the scrambles can go. You you all aren't in initiative right now, so you have a little bit more freedom. Amazing. I would like to and okay, first I'm gonna ask I'm gonna talk to Dimitri and kind of like, hey, what's that happening down there? I smell death. Um I freeze. Uh, <laughs> I wanna be like, um, oh, the the what is it the the, the baritone what's his name <laughs> the, 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 baritone. the baritone theater king uh, the French horn the French horn hey, when you you, you haven't actually heard the baronet sing you never got the chance since you killed him so don't go <laughs> assuming like the baronet went down no one knows what happened uh but they think it's us we gotta go no one knows what happened <laughs> Okay, uh, cool. Thanks. Uh, roll for deception, because I don't know how, how realistically I'm sounding. I think you should. You, you can do opposed to deception versus insight, or Bombay can just decide that. Why are you, you lying know, to me? Because <laughs> I just blacked out and I don't like what I did. Okay, well, you should have listened, Dimitri. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to. Sure, I'll try to break this lock. I'm going okay. to. Use my thief skin. So I just click on it. You click on it, and if it asks you what skill you want to use, select dexterity. What ability score you want to use? Oh, it's. Uh, it didn't ask me anything. Oh, mm. sorry. Oh, yeah, it is. Sorry, dexterity. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Yeah. Okay. Let's, That's what let's applies here because to... it's all about you know. Fucking hell. Okay. So um. <laughs> yeah. That's uh. Hmm. Sorry, That'll be a natural you. one. That was no! <laughs> so what are you gonna lose now? <laughs> you take one point of damage okay. as the spike emerges and stabs you in the hand. <laughs> Not enough okay. to like permanently reduce your functionality, sure. but it is injury to insult. Cool. Yeah, we're just this Jesus door is okay, kicking your ass. ass. I'm going to okay. Now. I You're like the wet bandits from Home Alone right now. <laughs> no. I remember when we spoke Literally. last, when we saw this door, I could see the mm -hmm. shadow of, like, the silhouette of the shadow from under the door. And I tried speaking, <laughs> and you said it was too, it was too narrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to cast Prestidigitation oh. and create a mirror in my hand. Like a tiny okay. pocket-sized mirror. Okay. I'm going to put that to the floor so I can see at an angle under the door. Ooh, okay. That might be one of the okay. smartest okay. things I've ever seen done in this game, by the way. Okay. <laughs> now that I can see into the room, I'm going to cast Misty mm -hmm. Step and bypass the door. There we go. You're finally able to execute on your plan. I, wow. I like that. Oh, we Stunning. did it. Upon okay, what do I see in this room? <laughs> within <laughs> the chamber beyond, on an enormous raised stone platform is an intricately carved sarcophagus. Candles line the outsides of it on all sides. Eldritch whorls and bizarre symbols adorn the beautifully inscribed. Perhaps this sarcophagus is not even freestanding. It rises from the platform itself, part of it, carved into it. Candles are all around, and mystic designs spiral outwards, carved into the floor. Okay, cool. So you're saying this is floating in the air? No, it's, uh, there's a stone platform, and then there's a stone sarcophagus that's just part of it. Got it. 
Uh, it's not even a separate object. Room, what else do I see around this room? Apart from like, yes, there's this in the center. What else do we see in and around? Nothing. It's a featureless stone chamber, except for the intricate markings and circles on the ground. What languages do you speak or read? Uh, let me actually go back. Languages, languages. Where does it say that? It would be like in the bottom left-ish. Of your, yeah, character Hold sheet. on. Okay, let's see now. Uh, it doesn't say... It should be under your proficiencies, like you have armor proficiencies, and then like yeah. after. I just have thieves disguise, thieves tools, disguise kit, and forgery kit. Okay, so you, you definitely would know language. Oh, I no languages. It just says thieves scan for that. That's all. Okay, well, you would speak a couple more. You yeah. are a human, so you would speak common, and yeah. you speak one other language, and with a background as a charlatan. Let's see if that gives you any others. A drag queen. <laughs> um, Charlotte tongue. Well, doesn't give you any additional languages. So you Charlotte speak did. common, thieves can't, and one other language of your choice. I would. I would go. Uh, the undead don't have a language, do they? I'll pick infernal. Sure. Infernal. infernal. Yeah. Ah, you understand the words that are inscribed around this circle. <laughs> what? What does it say? Um, there are invocations, the names of nine devils who will torment those who dare impugn upon this holy sanctum. Let's, uh, it, I'm about to impugn all over this. Just watch. <laughs> okay, I have a plan, and I. Oh, oh. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, can I? Okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna try and guess if there are any traps near. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna unlock the door from the inside. Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah. all right. You're, like, you're not going to check for traps again. No, I, the door, why would the door be trapped on the inside? I don't know. Give why would you look through it twice? <laughs> you I'm lost gonna, it. I'm going to unlock the door. I'm just going to like, pew. Mm -hmm. uh, just so and it swings open. Them. Well done. Attaboy. Scrambles, um, <laughs> you're just down the stairs with Thomas' skeleton. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you would have really heard anything, but I want to catch up with you briefly. I know I'm interrupting in the middle of Bombay's oh. momentum. Oh, Oh, I heard everything. I'm just letting him spin his wheels up there. Uh, I didn't care for the way he talked to me earlier, so I didn't quite feel like helping him out. That was super disrespectful. Right, right? Was I... No, was I in the wrong tone? Because I felt... I felt how long, like... How long okay. have you known each other? The two of you? Not, huh? not long. Is, it, is this like a, a business relationship? What, what's the nature of your of your association? Well, he's like friends with my friend, and okay, I don't know. Oh, yeah. No, that all, that all happened. Look, sometimes your friends are friends with other people who may be dysfunctional in their own ways, or toxic, or abusive. And maybe they don't see that in that relationship. Maybe they can't see through the fact that that person's a narcissist. But that doesn't mean that you have to deal with that. You're allowed to have your own boundaries. Like when we kicked the crap out of my good-for-nothing husband, all right? That was enforcing boundaries. That that was very strong of you. I, I really admired that you made your feelings known in a... Oh, you quite. used your I statements. I, I noticed that, and, and I, I'm... If by I'm, I statements you mean I'm kicking the shit out of you, then yes. Yeah, yeah. It's not you, Scrabbles, you're fine. Okay, okay, good. Um... Then I'm then I'm not I'm not gonna help him. No. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go up there. He sounds fucking he sounds fucking poisoned. I'm not going up there while he's all oh You're right, he does sound toxic. Let's go do something else. Yeah, yeah let's go have fun. Let's go downstairs. Let's go have fun. It's a party, right? Let's go enjoy yeah. the party. Yeah, let's join the party. I'm going to party. No. <laughs> <laughs> Scrambles is about to join the rest of the game. Party, party, party. And so, what Scrambles and Thomas. Example of empathy and breaking the law, breaking the law. That's <laughs> when so they start heading downstairs. Um, Crescent, could I have you roll a perception check, please? Sure. Uh, <laughs> take me back to the character sheet. Okay, perception, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm good at perception. Don't fuck this up, babe. Yes. Okay, an 18. You heard that entire conversation. They weren't really trying to be quiet, but you heard the entire conversation. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do is, at this point, 
Uh, DM, remind <laughs> me, did the Marquis' room have a window? The Marquis' room. Let the me room take a look. In? It had a balcony, but I don't believe it had any windows. Yeah, it had no sure. windows. It just had you a know balcony. What? I'll take the balcony just fine. I'm going to mm -hmm. leave the door open, and I'm going to use mm -hmm. this guy's self to turn into the Marquis. Ooh, okay. Whoa. Um, and now, now that I'm the Marquis, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to step out. I'm going to call my familiar to myself, first of all. Mm -hmm. Bring that back back. Here's my plan. I'm gonna get a bunch of henchmen to shove this coffin out of the balcony. And use okay. and you and use the Duchess's car chariot to take it to my brothel. So to remind you, the sarcophagus oh I just accidentally <laughs> duplicated scrambles. I don't think we can handle that. The uh no. one for each kidney. The sarcophagus the law, the law. is physically part of this stone platform if you if you're looking at the scene on roll 20 it is yeah. fused because I, I don't know if the marquee foresaw this exact course of action uh -huh. hijacking it and stealing it and but the, the marquee definitely wanted a coffin that was extremely difficult to steal break etc so Fuck. you'd need some way to separate it from its base when it's physically attached and made of stone Y'all are level seven, so somebody might have magic that can do that. But that is the, uh, that's what's at risk okay. here. Got it. I also have a spell, but I don't know if it's the best use. I can cast Magic Circle. Mm -hmm. That basically prevents anyone from entering the circle. So if we do kill mm -hmm. the Marquis and I cast it, he won't be able to enter his coffin. That actually could work, because Undead can't pass it. How long does that yeah. spell last? It lasts... Each each level it lasts an hour, mm -hmm. but then I'd have to know exactly when he dies. It'll have to be like mm -hmm. touch and go. Okay, at least I know how to get into this. I know how to get also, into it. Also, note that spell takes a minute to cast. Ooh. Okay. You know, what? I'll just. I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna transform into the marquee. I'm, I'm okay. gonna. I'm gonna leave this room because mm -hmm. at least I know how to get in without like losing any more parts of myself. Yes. <laughs> Okay. That'd be uh, I'm gonna head back into his room. Mm -hmm. That's down two flights. Okay. What? Um, that's Scrambles and Tom, right? Yeah, I, I think they're already on their way down. Unless the two of you want to be in this room, that's your call. This is the room that you pissed on. I think got prestidigitated. And then they pissed on it again. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. So, the, so the count's bed is still currently foul. Okay. Okay, I have a plan to distract the Marquis. I'm gonna head to, I'm gonna head back down. Okay, to who? Because I can tell the Marquis that his door has been opened and distract him, giving y'all some time to get out and like, just get away. We're heading to you. What? The two of you are in mental contact. This conversation can be happening. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not. Okay, so I'm gonna, who do I transform into? Because I don't want to... You know what? I'll go back as my bloodied eye itself. Let's go. I'm going to head back down as well. I'll be like, just... Aces behind shambles. It's scrambles. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't... <laughs> See, Tom, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I, I I'll know... make sure we spell it right on your tombstone. I... See, I... That was uncalled for. That was uncalled for. I mean, right. well, the thing that isn't that bad. That's at least one mark of respect, actually, going in your face. I'm like, was that a threat? I can't it's tell with mortals. Threatening. It was slightly threatening. You know what? I don't feel safe um, around okay. this person. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get past them at all to get closer to the action. Like, without entering the room, I'm going to just get as close to that room, maybe outside the door as possible, mm -hmm. um, just so I can get a better gauge of what's happening. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move all of you to the, this is the second floor here, uh, but this is the same floor that the rest of the party is on. So stunning. you're on your way. Let us now revisit. Go ahead. Did you have one last thing you wanted to do? I just want to tell Scrambles, I'm like, hey, listen, I know we've had our differences, but if there's anyone who's going to save every, everyone else, it's going to be us. More me, but also us. 
If it's so called love good. bombing, it's what they do to get back in your good graces after they've transgressed your boundaries. Right, I remember this in therapy. Um, but you know what? He does have a point, so we, we best work together for now. And um, I say we follow him down. I mean, we're going down. Like, he's following us, down. actually. He's following us, so, you know, you can um, follow our lead if you'd like. <laughs> How many skeletons do you have, Scrambles? I have one. Oh, what Currently a dressed guy. as a guard. <laughs> That's my friend Tom. He helps me. We stab things. We're gonna kill the king. Oh yeah! We'll kill the king, kill the king, kill yeah, the king! Yeah, we're killing the king! That's right! We're killing the king! Okay, you wanna help us kill the king? No, 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 don't kill the king right now. Let's not kill the king when we can have him distracted. Let's just concentrate on saving our friends. No, M, it's really distracting M needs to be help. dead. Let's, let's go help oh. M. M would- you can't let M die, can you? No, that's right. Exactly. Oh, I forgot all about M! Ah, oh, you forgot about M! I have to go. I have to go down. I got all this bloodlust, and now I'm I'm all I'm all disoriented and I'm all shaken up. I need to go down. Let's just head down. Let's head down. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Empty fire, right. though. That's true. That's true. T Tom as well, but you know that has been a problem for a while. <laughs> all right. How so that whole conversation <laughs> happened while they were pissing on the bed, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> long, long piss. Long. Our heroes are. Finally, on the verge of reuniting. Jesus Christ. As we go back over to this chamber off yonder. The high priestess, the ghoul priestess, is not jumping to attack. She remains where she is on the far wall. We have people for that. The count, or the marquis, is going to cross the room towards the duchess who gets a free stealth check it's 10 plus her own modifiers holy crap <laughs> he has completely lost her <laughs> the duchess where is she she's uh in the corner next to you she has her lobster claw over her face and she's just um so he's looking my direction now right He's looking right at you. He doesn't see anything. I go. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check, please. Cool. <laughs> it's not your turn, but we're still going to have you. Oh, it's about to be your turn. Perception, you said? Persuasion. Persuasion. <laughs> hmm, 12. Okay. Well, it is. Is there anything else that he can do if he can't see anything? Um. Yes. He releases the hounds. Jesus Christ. And summons to his side 15 hunting dogs. You can hear their Jesus howls Christ. echoing through the countryside as they rush to him. At the beginning of his next turn, his pack of hunting dogs will be here. Um, uh, oh, they arrive in 1d4 rounds. All right, let's see how long it takes. You have two rounds before the hounds arrive. Um, oh, quick fuck. question. If I use speak with animals, I could talk to them, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For the future. Um, Paw Patrol. <laughs> Paw Patrol, that's funny. Hmm. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to stay neutral for now and just pose. Okay. Is there anything you want to do on your turn? Um, Is it my turn right now? It is now your turn. He has called okay. the hounds. They will be here in two rounds. What else would you like to do? Um... Sorry, I'm just looking at some stuff right now. No worries. Let me uh, set the field real quick. The guards go next, then Abigail Kalarook, King Awesome, the Skeleton Monarch, and then Kaylin will be the next hero to go. All right. So what is the deal with vampires and daylight in this world? Is there, like, a thing? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Daylight is bad for vampires, which is why one of them buried the sun in an unmarked grave. All right, well, I'm going to use daylight. <laughs> Wait, you have daylight? Yeah. Oh. She, she no. Right. What if you just shut down this whole game? I wasn't attacking well, the marquee. <laughs> I, um, I will say this. Daylight does 
not frag vampires. It's not okay, high enough okay. level. There are yeah, spells that count. Yeah. That being said, they still don't like it. Yeah. Um, so this is this is an effective strategy, even if it's not an instant game over button. I cast garlic. <laughs> it's him throwing a a thing of garlic. <laughs> a clove. Die. <laughs> Literally casting it forth. We. Uh, oh, no, actually, totally. you do like this. <laughs> Actually, I have, a, I have an idea. I'm going to use druid craft and okay. try to just make a sound of, like, it says, like, harmless sensory effect. Can I do, mm -hmm. like, footsteps? Yeah, you can do footsteps. Um, Where are you putting like, them? Um, just, like, behind him, like, running faster. Like, just uh, footsteps that sound urgent. <laughs> okay. See if he gets distracted real quick. And if he turns around, I'm bouncing, just so you know. Uh, roll an arcana check to see how effective the distraction is. Okay, you have created an opening, but it's not enough to give him disadvantage on perception. Okay, um, does he, like, look around real quick? Yeah, he just sort of glances briefly or, like, tilts his head to the side. His eyes are still, folk like, in this direction, but they're off to the side, so you might be able to slip past him. You will need to roll a stealth check, but you get to add plus 10 because you're focused on Pass Without Trace, my favorite spell ever. Um, I'm actually gonna... And do I know the Duchess is near me, or do I lose track of her during the spell? You know she's near you. She's directly next to you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just actually hang out for now, actually. I think. And okay. Just protect the Duchess when I need to. We'll do that for now. All right. The guards scramble into action, charging yeah. for the staircase over here, and you can hear them. They're all running down here, and you can hear them thud, 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 thud. And are any of them close enough to actually get there? Let's see. Yes. The door on this side, which was already open for some reason, uh, you can hear two of the guards have just made it to this upper level. And they're giving chase. Abigail Kalaruk, the Red Hag, is just going to say, don't forget our little deal, darling. <laughs> and she casts Meld into Stone and just zoop into the wall. Oh my god. Okay. The Matrix, <laughs> bitch. King Osum, not King Awesome. It's not um, that awesome. <laughs> Dude, King Azu. <laughs> he uh, is a monarch, and monarchs do not chase assassins. So he too is just going to. No, I don't feel like going right now, Mr. Person. Kalen, <laughs> it's your turn. The three of you are in this stairwell. If you go this way, you'll end up on the ground floor. If you go this way, you'll end up meeting up with the rest of the party. And if you go this way, You'll end up on the next floor up. What would you like to do? Um, I would just like a reminder, I'm dressed as a guard if that factors into any of your decisions. Yes. Could be helpful. Okay. Or detrimental. We'll see. Am I okay, so who's who's with me? Uh Dimitri and um And me. And you mm -hmm. I was about to say, because I have it like in my head I'm I'm thinking uh like almost like we could act like you caught us or something like that. I, I don't know where my head is going with that. Like my head is like thing. Okay, you're dressed as a guard. We act as prisoners or something. But that's kind of pointless right now. Yeah. I would like to just move. You want to talk to... out what you want to do? You're allowed to talk. Okay. Well, okay, yeah. so Dim Dimitri... What, or what, what if y'all, like, run run one direction, and then when the guards come up, I tell them, like, they ran this way, and I point to the different direction. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so, um, like... Uh, what are you, Bugs Bunny? We scooby do them, yeah. You're already dressed as a guard, so why don't you hang back behind us uh, a little slower in case the guards meet up with you, and then we can uh, try to meet up with everyone else if we happen to find them, I just, I, I need to get away from this floor. 
because the marquee was staring directly at me and my survival instincts are kicking in right now. My adrenaline is going, so <laughs> I need to move. Yeah. I'm very nervous, but I'm ready to weaponize my BFA. Just let me know. <laughs> Good. Uh... So I am the first I'm time that's ever been said about that degree <laughs> from, a mu from a music major. From a music major. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it's gonna time to shine. Upstairs so I can reunite with everybody. That's my as a theater that's lesbian. Good. I'm together. Ah, ah, ah. Kaylin, what's your move speed? Uh, mine is at forty. Forty. Okay, so it's double movement to go up the stairs which means that this is going to take 30 feet of movement. Then you're going to have 10 more. So you can make it this far with one movement. And then if you'd like, you can use your action to dash and go even further. Um, YOLO, let's go for it. Okay. The chamber beyond has multiple stone gargoyles lining either side. I forget. Do you have prior knowledge? You've, you've looked at the blueprints, right? Have you had a chance to look at the blueprints of this place? I have not because, in character. In character. No, no, no. I have not because uh, from what from what I understand, Dimitri has them, but I did not see them. I gave. I know before I stealth back, I gave them to. I think I gave them to you, Kaylin. Oh, that's right. Our our second session after we got humbled yes. by the hag, I I studied the blueprints as quick that's as right. I could, and I rolled really fucking mid for that shit. And I remember I was not able to take in everything, but I mm -hmm. was familiar with it. Okay. So way. you'd know that if you want to stay on this floor, you need to go down this hall and then to the west this way. Sorry, I'm looking at the map. Um, okay. Um, oh, right. Okay. So then I will continue... Um, I will just uh, keep moving as far as I can. Okay. Yeah, I've I've already padded myself with mage armor, so I'm not going to try to do anything else drastic right now. You hightail it, your hooves, you know, clip clopping across the the stone. You're, make, you're making noise. You're not attempting stealth right now. You were just hauling ass. Nope. So those I'm echoes are everywhere. With my billowing cape. Exactly. Slow mo shot. Very Severus Snape, just boom. <laughs> Always. <clears throat> Drama. And then... I die. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Him. <laughs> From below. Yes. <laughs> the half-fiend Campion, in her armor, who's just looked like she's not having a good time this entire night, finally looks like she's enjoying herself. And he flies up onto the balcony directly in front of you. Dimitri, oh, lovely. roll a stealth check, please. Yes, gladly. Okay. I'm so glad I moved. Stealth. <laughs> nice. 28! Okay. As the Cambion flies up, they look directly into M's eyes and say, which way do they go? Yeah. So uh, in this moment, so I understand like the map layout. So mm -hmm. guards are coming up the stairs on this little tower area. Mm -hmm. um, they just ran up the stairs. What are the directions I can lie and point to in this moment? Obviously, they're Where not they are... go down. The, there's down the so you've got the spiral staircase here no guards seem to be coming from this direction so this tower is just a big old spiral staircase they could go mm -hmm. down to the floor below they could go up to the next floor or they could still be on this floor if anybody walks this way they're going to walk right past dimitri which even with a 28 on stealth there's still a chance of bumping into okay so i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm gonna lie and say like mm -hmm. They tried to go up the stairs whenever I intercepted them, and they cut the opposite direction of Dimitri on the same floor. Okay. Roll a deception check, please. Yes. Right. Come on, right. big money, no say, whammy. I would have spider climbed by now. But... Oh, you can spider climb. Yeah. Magic. I always forget about that. A natural 20. Hey. Hey. 
And oh, I mean, uh, can my you BSA. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from That's DeVry. Cool. What can I say? Oh my God. <laughs> no, oh, really? Did you print out your diploma? <laughs> I did. It's on a Chuck E. Cheese certificate. <laughs> well, it was all I had. I was out of the ink. <laughs> Not even cards. And so the, he shoves right past you and just delves down into uh, the beneath. Claws out and infernal fire flinging <laughs> between her fingers. And she vanishes from sight. Whoa. <laughs> I'm full on like Spider-Man crouched on the ceiling. Like mm -hmm. completely like like that. Just, just for you're visual like, reference, I, I you're like Matilda that. under that table. Yeah, yeah like in Hereditary. Yeah. That's the exact yeah. visual. Very different movies, but both work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, down below, uh, Brutus, you can see Lord Cranach, the Zombie King, walking over to King Osum, the Skeleton Monarch. Uh, the two of them just absolutely dressed, overdressed. Um, have you already succeeded on a save against the stank? Uh, no, I have not. Okay, I need you to roll saving though. You are now within range of the stank. <laughs> the stank. Constitution, please. <laughs> okay. Constitution. If you fail, you have to oh, the guy who poisoned me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 15? The DC is 16. Uh, oh, right. You are now poisoned. That you take no oh. damage, but the smell of rotting flesh is so nauseating. It burns your nostrils. It makes your eyes water, and it just makes your stomach. It's horrible. It may be one of the worst smells you've ever smelled. Thanks. Strikes again. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, this smells. Why does it smell familiar? You just got <laughs> stank. <laughs> I got stanked. Um, so I'm reacting to this, and I'm uh, looking around and just like trying to like act my way into maybe trying to get the Duchess to help me. Like I'm in so much pain. I don't know if I can be your servant anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, on her turn, she may take action on your regard. Okay. Um, but until then, I am gonna start moving away. It is not and... your turn yet. Oh, okay. 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 You've just become poisoned, so you have a chance to respond, but not necessarily take actions. I can't take actions, so we'll just respond okay. by being poisoned. Okay. <laughs> Your response is... <laughs> <laughs> That's a free action. <laughs> this, uh, this lovely individual over here, wearing the red ceremonial cloak with finger bones bedecked all side of it, features sort of shrunken and eyes wild with red gleaming light, pulls out one of those really curvy daggers, like obvious sacrificial nonsense, Ooh, yeah. and runs cackling up the stairs. Uh, oh, don't do that. Should we have introduced ourselves to more people? <laughs> <laughs> he begins shoving his way past the cultists. I, I Blood you. for Bounder! <laughs> Dimitri, it's your turn. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to, uh, full on, um, Spider-Man just across the ceiling in the direction that Kalen went. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I suppose, game. actually, okay. So I do have a, a feature as a rogue that steady aim. So as a bonus action, oh wait, no, I can't move. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. So I'm going to, um, just catch up with Kalen. So if that, if I needed okay. a dash to do that, I'll do that. All right. And I'm going to tell Crescent, um, it's just going to be a panic. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? So, can you, as a rogue, can you dash as a bonus action? That's a very good question. I don't have. I that think you can. Here. With cunning action, I think do you can. It, do so it. you can yeah. catch up with your movement and a dash, which can either be your bonus action or your action. Meaning, at the end of it, you can either take another action, say hide again. Yeah, I can. Or, no, no, I can. I can. Or I can. you can just cheese it and run right past Kalen. Um, no, I'm going to, no, I'm just going to keep up with him and I'm mm -hmm. going to say, um, up top, up top. <laughs> and just to get, give him a bit visual of where I am, even though I'm going to stay stealth. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not like, I really don't know what to say, what to do. So I'm just kind of like following where everyone's <laughs> going. 
and hoping that I'm not coming across shifty because, like, he is not recovered from what has happened. So I, like, it's very much like just this this creepy shadow kind of just like deer in the headlights, like, oh, fuck. Um, and I, I'm just, yeah, I'm following Kalen. That's, that's, that's I, it, that's my turn. I'm, okay. I'm just like telepathically connecting to you real quick, being like, is there anyone behind us? Like, what's going on? Is there anyone behind us? Not that you notice. Um, so far, the only up, pursuer right, was good. waved Keep downstairs. Okay. All right. The Duchess Eleanor reaches into her dress, pulls out something that's pulsing, And slaps it onto your face. No. Oh. You usually have to tip for that. <laughs> it sticks over your face, and for a moment, you cannot breathe. But a couple more moments later, you feel sort of this pressure, this suction over your nose, and it creeps up over your ears. And uh, it's very unpleasant, but you are no longer poisoned. Oh, fuck yeah. And you can no longer smell the stank. So I got COVID instead. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the Yankee Candle Index indicates that uh, you're screwed. That's my favorite yeah, that's stat is when the COVID waves came on, reviews for candles were bad. Mm -hmm. uh, um, okay, cool. That's awesome. Um, can I just like... Never mind. Just keep going. And uh, she's going to go ahead and offer you her crustacean arm and just gesture Aww. out of the room. Shall we? This is grabs. Uh, <laughs> and then I... You shall. <laughs> then we... we I, she follow, I follow her. Yeah, yeah, I just need to take a look at the downstairs floor plan. Yep, we're going to go ahead and just exit through. Well, she brought a bunch of her folks with her. And so uh, they're going to exit out through the side door. Um... I, I do need a, maybe a little RP before we do this. Um, By all means. On the, next, on the next turn. Like, before okay. we, like, leave, leave, I should talk to her. Mm -hmm. M, it's your turn. You just successfully lied to a half-fiend. What are you going to okay. do next? Okay, so but didn't you say someone else was coming now? A lot of someone else's are on their way. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Okay, are they coming as a unit, or are they, like, individually? Like, am I going to have to deceive everyone and just there are... fade in the dice, or am I about to put on a grand performance for many a people? They're all running in kind of at the same time, not necessarily coherently. Okay. Guards are panicking and trying to fulfill the boss's orders. Uh, everyone else seems to be interested in this bounty that has been offered. Okay, well, I successfully duped someone into running one direction i assume they would have seen that i'm gonna press my luck and i'm just pointing in that direction and i'm doing this motion oh yeah i used to work at as they come i was like <laughs> this way through the walkway onward, through get the em. walkway thank get you em. yeah get them get them like a little league baseball coach yeah. right get, get, yeah. get out there. go 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 <laughs> all right you will be called upon to roll for that as soon as people actually arrive on site. Okay. Someone needs to protect but, I, I, but do I get advantage? Because I feel like they see people running in the direction, you know, yeah, hive minds advantage. and whatnot. Okay. I'll grant advantage at least once. Thank you. Oh, at least <laughs> one? Okay. All right. Let's 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 see about <laughs> this heavily armored attractive individual. Ooh. Uh, Yeah. Grandpa's? Get in on that. Yeah, Grimble. I'm talking about scrambles, obviously. <laughs> I thought, I thought, yeah, I thought that's what you. It's, it's my turn. Oh, hello. There's just more people on their way, and I don't know what you can actually see from there because you just hear footsteps and armor, and the hounds will arrive in two rounds. Uh, Bob the accountant. Where did Bob the accountant go? Did he make it all the way over? Because I actually did Lost. put him on here. Yeah, the last we saw him, he was looking for those legal documents, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were heading further up to, to take a look at that. All right, so we don't have to worry about him right now. Okay. Okay. 
you can hear the marquee sobbing in the other room. Did you say sobbing? Sobbing. Sobbing. And shrieking a little bit. Just shrieking a little bit. <laughs> yeah, ver absolutely verklempt. And, and screaming at them, kill them, kill them, kill them, find the Duchess and kill them! No, bring her alive! The other ones, I'll eat them myself! Bring them to me! They ruined my party! <laughs> oh, buddy. Big feelings. <laughs> On this episode of Super Sweet 16, we are the party! <laughs> I think the Marquis needs a session with Tom. <laughs> I, I asked him what's wrong. I let pat us, let, him on the shoulder and I ask, hey, what's going on? You pay. Let us, let us catch guy. up, actually. I am going to have the rest of you. I'm going to have Scrambles and Crescent roll for initiative simply to decide the order of operations here. So go ahead <laughs> sure. and roll d d20 and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get you in the initiative order. Okay. Where did my... Hey, where did my d20 go? Okay. I'm rolling right. so badly. I'm doing it the long ways because today I'm a typewriter. I do a, I do a fourteen. All right, and we add your dexterity modifier, so that's a total of seventeen. All right. So I rub him on the shoulder and I ask him, "What's oh, going on, buddy?" You you haven't reached that room just yet, but it is your oh. turn. All right. Um. Can I can I peek through the door? And yeah. um, can I go, hey, um, what's going on here? Is everyone okay? I, I no. heard a ruckus. <laughs> it's still farther down the corridor. You can Nobody's in here, but that screaming and the shouting and all that stuff is echoing through the halls oh. of the castle as the fire crackles behind you in the, in the Marquis's own tower. But it looks like the way ahead is clear if you want to move. Okay. I am. Um, I move forward. Move mm -hmm. forward. I am. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, I see. There's quite a bit of commotion going on, but I'm going to just press on forward. Tom, Tom, let's head on. Let's head on then. Um, I guess if we try to fix all the problems in the world, we'll just, um, we'll just be overwhelmed. So let's, um, Let's just stick to killing the king and um, move forward. Yeah, miserable goals. That's better. Yeah. Scrambles, you enter a room filled with books. There's a fireplace on one side, big old fancy carpet in the middle, and multiple minions of the Marquis wearing the same skull masks and red cloaks that Tom is currently wearing are sorting through, grabbing scrolls off the walls. I don't know if, uh, I don't remember if Scrambles has run into Bob the Accountant yet. But there is one of them who's saying, okay, we're going to need that file. Um, get me, get me Mephistopheles versus Neverwinter. Yeah, okay, get that one. Uh, just volumes two and three. We don't need four, five, and six. That's just a waste of time. And so they're just busy, like, in this room picking things off shelves. I am... Um... I set the books on fire. What? what? I start so, setting books on fire. Okay, you can just start tossing them into the fireplace if you like. I do. I start, I go, I reach over to one, I go, hey, you reading that? And I don't break eye contact and I throw it in the fire. <laughs> All of them stop and stare at you. <laughs> no. What? I was thinking that uh, y'all's a bunch of nerds and you need a good ass no. kicking. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. The couple's next. <laughs> Toss him in. And we shall revisit Scrambles when it gets to uh, Bob the Accountant and Company's turn. Which is now. Oh, God. Scrambles. <laughs> the three of Run. them drop well, everything they're carrying and just try to tackle you i need you to roll a athletics check or acrobatics whichever's higher to either slip from their grasp or to uh fight them off 
How I hard choose... is it to not get into trouble? I choose to fight hard. them. I choose to fight them. I am... <laughs> what an easily avoidable situation. <laughs> I, I, I pull my um, rapier from my scabbard. So as you're drawing it, it is drawn and they all tackle you because on your turn, you threw that into the fire. They are now grabbing you, you... and they are dragging you to throw you into the fire next. You bastards, Tom, help. <laughs> Tom is going to attempt to uh, pull you out of there. Uh, he rolled a three. So as he reaches to go, get your hands off of him, uh, his hands pop off. <laughs> Tom, no. Oh, oh, go ahead. As you are drawn closer and closer to the fireplace, it begins to lick at your boots, and you take one single point of fire damage. Oh, On there, no. you're, you're going to get to fight back before they make their next attempt to all the way bodily toss you in. Is anybody close to Scrambles? Me. Is just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I was on my way, right? I think. Yeah, no, you, uh, way, actually, but... Dimitri and Kaylin, you can hear this going on. You hear Scrambles calling them a bunch of nerds. Oh, no, okay. Well, I, okay. Oh, God. Fucking and nerds. As the, the Kobold Paladin book burner draws closer and closer to <laughs> an incineratory fate, we shall rejoin our heroes after a short break. Don't go anywhere. More Death Dragon Decadence coming up very soon. Put me down, you bunch of strong oh. nerds! I'm... When last we left our heroes here on Death Dragon Decadence, a kobold was about to get yeeted into a fire. Panic and disorder was spreading throughout. The party is not officially over. In fact, you might say it has only just begun. Tormented by gnomes, joined after the break by Abhora, Androgen, Bombay, Bupasaurus, Eva Destruction, and Maddie Morphosis in the third episode of our Dark Adventures in a Haunted World. And uh, the has hit the fan at this point. So let's get right back into it. Kaylin, as far as you know, you're the next person to take their turn. You are currently running. You just came through a hallway full of gargoyles. Uh, Dimitri is spider climbing in a panic above you, and you can hear the sounds of kobold in imminent kobold incineration up ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of uh, not yell, but I'm gonna uh, kind of uh, hurriedly call up to uh, Dimitri, um, who is skittering above me. I'm like that sounds like our little kobold friend in trouble. We need to, we need to get in there uh, before this turns ugly. We we need all the people we can get right now. Um, so I'm going to move towards the sound. Of hearing. All I see um, is me. All right, yeah, this I'm is gonna... the maximum that you can move into this chamber here. There's a stone altar covered with cobwebs on your right-hand side, a set of stairs that rise further up into the castle, and an open door that leads into the records room directly ahead, what? through which the sounds are emanating. You uh, pigs! So that, you moved me uh, 30 feet, I think, right? Yeah, you move at 40 feet, because you're fast. And, right. and if you want to control your movements, let me know. I'm happy to do it either way. No worries. Um, I look, I look over at the altar. What, what is on top of that altar, by any chance? Uh, there's a uh, cloth, a threadbare old linen. Interesting. Just a cloth. Okay. Um, okay. I uh, so um, I, I'll, I guess, uh, can I use dash again? And well, you can have another ten feet of movement. That'll get you into the doorway right here, from which you may be from where you might be able to do something, because now you can behold the entire scene as three minions of the Marquis attempt to shove scrambles into the fireplace. It's getting a little hot in here. Um, I'm going to put myself in the doorway, uh, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to um, use prestidigitation 
as soon as I see everybody and I see them holding scrambles, I'm going to cast prestidigitation to make a uh, firecracker sound. Okay. okay. Where? Um, just in my direction so that they all look at me. Okay. Accomplished. They, they take a look for a moment. One of them just gets smacked by a flailing kobold limb <laughs> as they're glancing off in your direction. Piece of shite. Eat um, my... Excuse me, fellas, uh, but but that little one's mine, and I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't like them roasted uh, by chance. So if you could please put them down, that'd be great. Well, then are you going to recompense the Marquis for the destruction of his records that this one has just expounded upon? Yeah, that sounds like a him problem, and not so much what I've got going on right now in my schedule. So uh, you could put them down, and then we could probably talk this out. Uh, because I feel like there's more to this story you don't quite understand. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check for me, please. They are they are rather put out and kind of carried off with the idea of of toasting this creature. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They've been stuck doing lawyer stuff for so long. The occasional barbecue is a nice change of pace. Hmm. Okay. So we're just going to uh, persuasion, and then I'm going to wiggle my nose and cast guidance on myself. Mm-hmm. Or you could just roll a natural 20. Oh, oopsie. Is that your first one? I think that's the first yeah. one for you this campaign. Yeah. Hey. Nice. All right. They all look at each other. They look at Bob, the accountant. Bob goes, we better do this a civil way. And they start to set the kobold down. On your turn, Evora, you'll be able to decide if, what you do as soon as you're set down. I'm not... Um, saying what I think is going to happen. I just have some, you know, ideas. <laughs> I um, I kind of chuckle and I go, you know what? Uh, this has been, <laughs> I think I acted a little, a little impulsively. Uh -huh. I you know, have some impulse control. I'm going through a lot. Um, I look, I look to Tom and I go, haven't we? <laughs> We've been through quite a bit. He's still like, um, no hands. <laughs> That's, that was so funny. I forgot about that. Can I have those back? <laughs> they all look now at the guard who's missing their hands and whose helmet is just sort of dangling -ling around quite a bit. We turn for a moment from this scene to go back to M as the Cambion just ran down the stairs. Mm -hmm. you then see him fly back in from the room below oh that just goes out into the hall where'd you say they went I just double down I'm just like that's where they went <laughs> <laughs> you're doing the windmill you're yeah. doing the windmill I was just like like go <laughs> your peck is gonna be bigger on the <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Give me another deception check, please. With disadvantage oh, wow. because uh, the evidence doesn't match what you're saying, but with advantage because you're really earnest in buying into it. So this is going to be a flat roll. The numbers okay. fall where they fall. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Hey, do you, what's your deception modifier? Oh, that'll be a negative one. No. Uh. <laughs> Windmill's running out of wind. Run, Run. <laughs> It's the 5G. I should have stayed It's the 5G. It okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. He looks at you for a moment, gets real close, stares right into your eyes. You can smell her breath. It's this mixture of sulfur and cinnamon? Cinnamon. Roll... A wisdom saving throw, please. No! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You have M, you got this. M, you, you got, got this. this. <laughs> Eva, you got this. Over 16. No! Okay. Oh, wait, wait, what's your modifier? What's wait, your modifier? What's your wisdom mod? Um, I... Wait, hold on. Oh, no, come back. It's going through all my tabs. Close. Uh, uh, my wisdom is a three. Yes! I have a plus okay. three. Yes! Yes! I can beat if I want. <laughs> for just a moment you you feel sort of your heart rate increase as an involuntary response oh response falls over you and you feel like wow 
uh, this person's really cool and attractive and I should do whatever they say. Nope, nope, nope. That's just probably the party drugs talking. Okay, you know what? You're fine. And you are not charmed. Ooh. Oh, yes. Mm. By uh, one point. <laughs> Zoth Tuxag says, Are you sure that's the way that they went? You wouldn't lie to me, right? Um, okay, so they're not believing my lie outright. So I say, like, or at least I, I'm my my windmill is much slower now. Like I thought that's where they went. <laughs> maybe I went and I point in a different wrong direction. Like maybe it was that way. Charms. All right. Well, <laughs> and I'm and I'm spinning the other way. <laughs> You're just having a full on Tweedledee Tweedledum. Moment. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, they already used their action to attempt to use a fiendish charm on you, but. It failed. So you can see her sort of disappointed. And uh, we're going to leave it right there. Thank Has not left. Is still directly in front of you. Can we ask what kind of creature she is? A Cambian. Half fiend, half mortal. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, directly behind her, this lovely individual charges in with that bendy knife drawn and 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 just shoves past attempts to shove past you if you want to block you can roll an opposed athletics check your call M yeah let's do it you should do like the Caitlin Clark like hand face thing yeah (laughs) I got a four (laughs) Oh, I got a six. Okay, well. (laughs) 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 They look directly at the eye. Look at you in the eye, head turned. They command you to step aside. (laughs) Another wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, Oh, another one? Yeah, you got Mm -hmm. it. Oh. Oh. And I have the plus three modifier on that. Ah, uh, so a 12? Uh-huh. Okay. So a compulsion seizes over you, <gasps> and you step aside, just for one round, just for one moment, as the voice of Vondor eagerly pushes up the stairs, and only makes it a little bit of this way, because uh, it's kind of dark in here. You can only barely see what's going on, but shoves up the stairs and just waves that curved blade as he continues to charge forward. Dimitri, it's your turn. You heard the, okay. the scary voice behind you, and you're hearing the conversation up ahead of you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, so I'm going to uh, Psychic Link with Kaylin. Uh, we got company behind us. What, 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 what are you doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, I, I got them to drop scrambles, first of all, um, but we still have them to deal with so i'm gonna see what we can do with what we're working with um i suggest you stay outside and potentially keep like just an eye on things i can't we cannot separate we cannot separate right now okay how far is this crazy voice from me give me a perception check okay i've like been doing a lot of Perception, perception. All right. That is... It got really, really echoey, and it bounced off, and it was clearly supernatural. You're having a hard time getting a read on it. But they were commanding someone to step aside. All right. I honestly... Okay. I I mean, I, I I I need to talk this out with Kaylin. Um... DM. Do you want me to? The thing is, is that we're having company come from behind us. If they join, whomever's in there is now going to be a party of an increased amount of individuals. Do we want to just take out the room? Well, that's what I was going to ask. Is how many people are in the room again? Three. Three. And they're accountants. Uh, Yes. (laughs) Okay. So (laughs) then. Famous lost ones. Famous lost ones. But but here's another question: What kind of creatures are they? even if they are accountants. 
they're wearing full like skull masks with horns and all sorts of ornate stuff. So all you can tell about them is that they're bipedal. How far is my rapier? How far is my rapier out of my scabbard? You completely drew it before yeah. they grabbed you. It's just ah. that, like your hand was up here and it's a stabbing weapon, so it wasn't you weren't able to do any stabbing yet, but only because it hasn't been your turn. It's drawn on your turn. We'll see what happens. All right, and honestly, I'm okay. What, so then, what I'm going to say is, um, Kalen, we know what he's going to do, and I'm going to <laughs> spider climb into the room, like from the okay. ceiling. And I'm going to draw um, a psychic blade, but it's going to come out like magical girl style, like out of my chest. And then I'm going to grab it. And then from the ceiling, sneak attack and just the the one that looks, the one that looks like needs to take the most damage. Muted. You're, you're muted. I just keep giving away this plus one XP every time I do this. With your movement, in order to get all the way into the room, you're going to need to use your bonus action to dash in. So as long as you can do that and attack, you're good. Yes. And then you want to know what? I will all forgo using my bonus action to do another attack. And I'll just bonus act. Because that's that's too... Like, we need to start, like, culling mm -hmm. the fucking... Because we need, like... I don't want 15 people chasing after and having it be like Pirates of the Caribbean 2 with like Jack Sparrow running like with all the yeah. the, the people mm -hmm. behind. Yeah. So I'm going after the one that is definitely looking like needs to take the most damage because I, I know what I'm capable of. Okay, and Bob the accountant very... is the leader and he's just out of reach. You just don't quite have enough movement to reach him. Okay, Um. then who, who I do have room to reach then? Okay. Yep. No, you you can go ahead and drop in from above on him. Make this attack yeah. with advantage, and if you hit, it's a sneak attack. And it's a very like elegant, um, like He Man looking sword, and it's like shimmery purple. It's like really like cunty and sickening. Um, and if I could also like fall, like no, I was gonna say if I could like dip, like death drop, like as I fall, <laughs> um, as I stab. Can I actually? I'm gonna do that. I'm going to I'm going to fall into into a dip and then have my my left hand like kind of just uh, with the psychic blade go into the skull of of that one. As I'm if you drop this, this person, that's exactly what happens. Uh, As I'm watching this, I straight up go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, also, Mama Shimada redeemed some stuff for those the accountants and his friends. Disadvantage on their next roll. So. <laughs> okay, how do I? So it would just be a, a d20 roll then, right? Mm -hmm. But you're gonna roll it twice because you have advantage on this. Okay, so R, help me. Slash R, space one d20. Because I'm I'm using my sheet to like do because I, I I'm so I'm not doing what everyone else is doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eleven and then plus your psychic blades is a nineteen total and roll again. Wait. Oh, it's a plus your... attack. Yeah, this or... is an attack. This is your psychic gotcha. blade attack. So if you gotcha. have your sheet up, you can just click psychic blades and uh, go oh, from there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So then I'll, I'll do that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Oh, that's a three. 11. No, because the first one would have been plus eight. So it's a 19. So it is a hit for seven psychic damage and you deal sneak attack. What's your sneak attack? My sneak attack is 446. Cool. Slash R space 46. And we'll uh we'll mess with your character sheet later so you can toggle it on and off. Oh, okay. What a watch. Okay. You drop from the ceiling and the blade just like goes right into this. You can it doesn't even break the skull. It just passes psychically through the skull mask into the actual skull, and there's a splorching Whoa. sound. Ew. And the accountant just sort of <laughs> As you land in a perfect dip. <laughs> you recite the incantation. Katrina, Katrina, Katrina. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I look to Kaylin and I give a wink and then I prepare myself for the next the next person. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Crescent, it's your turn. Okay. Uh what I'm going to do is I'm gonna walk into the center of the room mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be like, oh, it's like, okay, so this is spell fact. I should do. Um, did, do I also hear the Marquis, like, crying or throwing a fit? Roll, per, roll a perception check to see exactly how much you would have been able to, uh, discern. Sure. 
And we can we can have you be all the way over here because I don't know if you got to move last time. Sure. So you're all the way over here. Uh, I rolled an eighteen. Yeah, you can hear, like the yes. the marquis's voice sort of belongs here, and so the stones repeat his words. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, because I can hear him, I'm assuming he can hear me. Maybe. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back into that room. Mm hmm. Um. This room over here? Yeah, and I'm going to cast Magic Circle in the center. Okay. I'm going to make this room a kill box. Nice. Nice. Is the Magic Circle pointed out or in? Does it keep people out or does it trap people inside? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that... So, it's going to trap people in. And I'm going okay. to make it... I'm going to, make, I'm going to like configure it so that it traps uh, the undead. Mm-hmm. My plan, and I'm, I'm mentioning this to uh, Dimitri, is to tell the Marquis that someone has infiltrated his resting place, hoping he panics, runs to the resting place, falls into the trap, and when he's in the circle, he can't get out. Okay. And then all of us make our way here and kill him while he's trapped in the circle. We have an hour in game time. Oh, thank you. We have an hour to kill him, after which the spell will kind of disappear. Okay, I'm Once writing it down so I remember to do that on my next turn. <laughs> each person's action in, in battle is six seconds a game now, right? Yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. it's like a hundred rounds of battles, I think. Okay. If I did the math. Okay, right. I'm going to... Oh, okay. Now that that's done, I'm, I mean, the spell takes 10 minutes to cast, so I'm, I'm going to... It, it takes one minute to cast. Oh, uh, stunning. So this, so this is going to take 10 rounds. So we'll say that you're in there laying this trap for now. Will that work? Yes. Um, cool. Right. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to get, make my, um, my bat. I'm going to mm -hmm. uh, ask my bat to fall, look for the marquee. Okay. So the bat's going to fly out. Um... Let me and give you a bat in a moment. Where are you, Bombat? Bombat! <laughs> because the good thing is, when he's trapped in the magic circle, everything he does it at, is at a disadvantage. So we can just, like... Unless he could just dispel. Well, it's against my charisma saving throw, which is really right? high. Because I still have a polygraph. Uh, okay, so the bat's gonna go... And follow that sound of the marquee. Okay. What's the bat's move speed? Bat's move speed, it's but it flies at thirty feet. Okay, so it can go up to sixty feet on this turn. So all the way out to here, <laughs> if you'd like. Oh uh, sure. What does the bat cool. see? Uh, the bat sees two accountants trying to throw scrambles into the fireplace. <laughs> Not and, my problem. Uh, Dimitri one. doing a perfect dip. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. <laughs> Uh, that waves with its wings. Yeah, you got this. Okay. And the bat gives one of these. Yes. <laughs> Throws it it is your turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a very dangerous looking person just ran past you. Yeah. And uh, the rest of the guards are on their way as well. They're about Great. to step through the door. And there's a half fiend who just tried to put the moves on you with magic. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you going to do next? Okay, well, now that someone actually has gotten past me and running up the stairs, I feel like it's probably in the best interest to join the party in some degree. But I want to shake at least the half fiend that's on me. I'd be like, okay, I guess they're going up. If they weren't downstairs, they have to be somewhere. I'll follow them upstairs. You go that way. <laughs> we'll split up. And because I'm just trying to just get that person to go away and... <laughs> Maybe I could deal with the one that went upstairs. Okay, you are going to have to roll deception with disadvantage because uh, they have deemed you sus. Okay. Come on. Okay. That's minus one for your deception, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Family unfortunate. You, you, you love that eight. And roll again because you have to take the worst of the two. Oh, lovely. Because you can always crit. Aww. I was hoping that would work. I know. <laughs> it would have just been, well, it would have been a natural one for the crit because oh, you yeah. can take the worst on this one. Okay, mm -hmm. so you got a seven. Ooh. The half fiend 
looks at you and licks his lips. Uh. I don't like that. And just stares and does not move in response. It was a bonus action to attempt your deception. What else would you like to do? Uh, well, whether they believe it or not, I think we're now in like panic mode because someone has already gone up those stairs. So I'm just gonna turn and be like, "Let's go!" and run up the stairs and hope that they don't follow me. Uh, up we go use a, for the marquee attack of opportunity to grab you. <gasps> Roll a acrobatics or an athletics check to avoid being grabbed. Your choice, whichever is higher. The party's um, still not together, guys. Three episodes. The we're trying. We're yeah. trying so hard. You said, you said acrobatics or athletics? Whichever's better. <clears throat> okay. And if you click on it on your character sheet and roll 20, it should just roll for you. Okay. Okay. Did it roll? Yes, Whoa. got a 17. Whoa. And I got a natural one. Oh! <laughs> so it was close. <laughs> as you push past, Zopuxag reaches to grab you and miscalculates it and falls down to the next floor. Fuck me. Lovely. <laughs> and up I go. Right. Clink clank. Cool. You're gonna push past the person with the scary sword? <laughs> um well, I don't want them to know that I'm, like, against them. I feel like mm -hmm. following them up, maybe even kind of like nudging them up so we can move a little quicker. But, yeah, try to okay. use, use that BFA again upstairs. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we can... This, this person is paying no attention to you whatsoever. After commanding you to step aside, it's just moving forward in a blood craze. So you're able to sort of, yep, that's great. Let's go. Blood for Vonder. Sounds good. Yeah, and, and it's uh, like, yeah, for, for the marquee, all the things. Yep, yeah, let's go, 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 go. I'm so asking. on that character's turn, you'll be following them, is what I'm going to say. I'm going to yes. let you get some extra movement. Kaylin, uh -huh. what's going on in your world? All right, Um. so uh, how far away is the, uh, how far away is Bob the Accountant? Bob the Accountant is in sight and 30 feet away. Amazing. Um, now that, uh, well, We've had a lovely time together. Thank you so much for letting my friend go, but we really must wrap this up. Um, and all of a sudden, I blink and my eyes turn pitch black and smoke starts coming out of them and my cloak is flaring out and dead leaves start uh, falling uh, beneath my cloak uh, in this specter-like form that's, like, created. And then I reach out with my... Uh, with my arm that's glowing purple along my tattoo or my scar and I'm going to cast Agonizing Blast right at the um... Okay, send it. Is that right. a radius? If it's on your character sheet, you should be able to just click on it. Can right. I military roll out of the way? Um, so, uh, with Agonizing Blast, I'm going to add my Charisma modifier to my attack. Mm -hmm. um, so... Where are my spells? There they are. Okay. Uh, we're going to do Eldritch Blast in the face. And then we're going to add in the face. my... Hold on. I'm going to do something here real quick, just because I think it should be working slightly differently than it is. And hopefully this is going to... Oh, oops. Okay. Cool. So I just added it as a attack on your character sheet. And we're going to have it add your charisma modifier to the damage right yes that's a three cool so if you just click the word Ag eldritch blast on your front of your character sheet under the weapons column it should do everything for you under the weapons column. middle column of your character sheet you scroll down you'll see your light crossbow dart dagger eldritch blast is now on there <laughs> um okay uh maybe i need to refresh hold on uh, bop, bop, bop. My apologies. All good. Apologies not accepted. Well, yeah, I'm not. 
I'm not seeing it for some reason on the middle. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. No worries. No worries. Go ahead and click that. And oh, yeah, a 21 to hit. 12 points of damage. And, and plus three. Oh, it's already in there. Oh, it's already in there. Okay. Yeah, you rolled a nine for damage and you got an extra three. So Bob, the accountant, gets to make a constitution saving throw, <clears throat> which he fails. And so oh, no. ends his career. Oh, he gets blasted to the side of the room and receipts fly out of his robe as he slumps down in the corner, <laughs> annihilated. And then that's his, that's his turn to ash. All those years at business college for nothing. It's I tax watch... season. Who's going to do our taxes now? <laughs> I watch him crumple to the ground and I just see a look at my smoking hand to go. And then I look at the next accountant next to him. <laughs> and, um,. I, yeah, I'm just going to go for another uh, Agonizing Blast. So, yeah, you get multiple per turn. You shoot up to th two, two separate beams, so you can go ahead and hit the other accountant with the second one. Okay. Click as a button. A 19 to hit for nine points of force damage. Gets a saving, a constitution saving throw. Succeeds because... He has an undying soul being pledged to the Marquis. So instead of instantaneously dying, he's instead reduced to one hit point. Oh. Okay. Otherwise, nine hip help would have killed him. Okay. That's your action. You still have movement and anything that can proc off of a bonus action. I am just going to put myself closer uh, along with uh, Dimitri. Uh, just to move a little closer to Dimitri, and that's going to end my turn. Into the room you are. Yes. Meanwhile, Zop Tuxag gets up onto his feet. Uh, cracks a couple of joints, and then flies up directly behind you, M. Still okay. entirely unconvinced. Mm-hmm. Is real fast, if I could rewind a little bit, uh, do I still have that psychic link with Dimitri? Or, or, or was that severed earlier? I cut, it, I cut it to, you would know that I cut it because I dropped it to make a connection with <laughs> Okay, I, I was just wondering because if it was still connected, I was going to let you know that Hello? we got company, Hello? but if not, then so be it. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Zoft Tuxag is going to fly up in the air using half of her movement to stand up but has 30 feet of movement which is enough to fly up in the air spear held in two hands and just try to stab you drive it right through you Stab me my performance wasn't that bad was it <laughs> <laughs> and what was a natural one why <laughs> oh that's what you get for making me crit it's because I am a like, deity. You can't kill a god. It goes after you, stabs. It goes right past you, you know, and gets stuck in the wall. As Zop oh. attempts to pull it off, uh, they fall back down. I thought you were going to say I was going to stab the person in front. That would have been too convenient, though. <laughs> That's his life. Nope. I'm just, all here for M just like casually succeeding everything just by standing there. like. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm starting to think again for a, as I'm rushing up the stairs, I see that happen, and I think... Maybe I am a god. <laughs> <laughs> but we keep shuffling up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have... There's not a lot I could do except keep going up, up, up. I don't have a psychic link. I mm -hmm. I don't think I can deceive this person. Well, no, probably not. Well, you've not you know left what? them behind. Sorry, go ahead. You know what? As we're running up the stairs, let... I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to try to, like, grab the person in front of me and see if I can, like, yank them behind me down the stairs, too. Oh, okay. Because it is that person. It's the voice of Vonder's turn. It was just about to go running out that door, and you said you were trying to keep up. I'm going to give this one to you uh, as a reaction, since you were kind of preparing to pull something off. Okay. Roll an athletics check, which should be on your character sheet. Yes. And you're... You do have advantage because you're getting them by surprise. Mm -hmm. And I rolled a 15. And so you seize the voice of Vonder and hurl him over. And he just flumps overwards in, in a tangle of red robes and, and finger bones flying up into his face and uh, goes splat on the ground. It is not your turn, so you can't move yet, but you have successfully uh, interrupted his movement. He takes seven points of damage on impact. And now he and Zoth Tuxug 
are both just splat on the on the paving stones. Okay, okay can I do an action? Yeah, what would you like to do? I would like to yell out, "So sorry, my liege." So you know, <laughs> this maybe like a maybe he thinks it was an accident. Can I can I roll for that? Or, yeah, or roll no? deception with disadvantage what? because you're pushing it. Yeah, of course. Cripple disadvantage. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Now I don't know how it happened, but I think Brutus might have gotten skipped last time. So, oh no, yeah. your turn. Your, yeah. So I, I think you got skipped last time. I want to give you a quick shot at, at doing something. I'm muted. Okay. So am I close enough to the Duchess to talk to her, but far enough away from people for them not to hear? Yeah, you've used the Pass Without Trace to slip into this square-shaped tower over here, just adjacent to the restrooms. Cool. Um, and so I go, well, Duchess, we've gotten into a, quite a predicament, it seems. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to save um, the, the Baroness, but I or the, the prisoner, but I'm here, and I'm here as your servant going to make sure that you get what you need and see the Marquis suffer. And I think I know how to make that happen. I'm already having a delightful night. What you got in mind? Um, and then I go, I just say the name Dimitri. Does she recognize it? <laughs> and um, and then I and then I say another name. I I, I go and uh, scrambles. I say their name. You know, does, does that name sound familiar to you? Who doesn't know scrambles? Are yeah. we serving breakfast? Literally, you're, just like, you're, you're literally funny. naming off menu items. I know, yeah. right? Um, basically, I, I, I go every name that I say is helping me, right? And so if I point them out. I would expect that since you've helped me, you would help them. Oh, well, what's okay. in it for me? My family. <laughs> your mother who works at my establishment? Pimping yeah. out we've your been, mom? We've been trying to move out this whole time, and honestly, it's been great working for you. So that's, oh, uh, that's what we can do. I see how it is. Okay, roll, roll persuasion check for me. That's so stupid. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, it should be called Brutus Dumbbottom. Um, <laughs> uh, persuasion, you said? Persuasion, yeah. Hmm, 12. Ooh. Well, that, that sounds charming and everything, but I've already got quite a few hangers on to deal with. Um... And then I go, but what if I help you also steal something as well that you then can use for your power? Referring to the artifact. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, I'll hear you out. Let's try it. Let's see. Let's see about it. All right, and then I and then I kind of describe just like, but I admit, but so I go, but you will help my friends if, if I ask. Sure. Oh, God damn it. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to have to go with that and do it. Um, do I hear anything that's going on with my friends? Do I Have I heard anything? You hear, do you have a psychic link? Is there a Brutus link nope. going on, Dimitri? No. Nope. Okay. You hear point. running and yelling, and you, you heard the big scary voice of, um, you know, Vanderbilt's get out the way. But um, you haven't really been able to tell much more aside from that. Okay, and then I go, you heard the voice earlier, right? Did, did, did you hear the voice, Duchess? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a feeling... Usually they tell me to kill. Oh. <laughs> well, that might require some extra help that I'm not qualified for. Um, there might be some people in this castle, though, that, that might be... That's not a bug, you. it's a feature. <laughs> um, but uh, if we can go towards that voice, I think we probably will go towards a place where we can start... Fucking shit up. <laughs> My voice is probably where poor little Donatian is sending all of his little nasty people. So 
my thought is we go not there. Well, then I and then I go. Well, do you know where they went? I just assume they died. Maybe. Are they dead, Duchess? I don't. I've been here with you the entire time. Why the <laughs> fuck would I know that? <laughs> Be specific, um, Duchess. Um, and then like, finally, I go. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go find my friends and I go towards and I go, Duchess, you can join me um, if not, but I will be coming back to you at the end. Perfect. You, you've been delightful and you've really helped me out with this entire party. Um, I'll be honest, Sir Donnell had no emotional value to me. I just didn't Aww. want the Marquis to have him. I know. Oh. I know. It was a flash in the pan, and it was mostly to piss him off. But be as it may, I can give you one other little thing. Hmm. You see, our good Marquis may have found himself in a scandalous entanglement and took a little souvenir with him that's plagued him ever since. And he requires frequent treatment for his ailment. And if word of this got out, well, we'll see if his castle even survives this. But if word of this got out, it would piss him off even more. Do you know what he has to take for this uh, little passenger that he's picked up? Uh, garlic! Uh, oh. Yes, it can only be treated with garlic. Magnificent. Um, where can I find some garlic? Did you see any, Duchess? Oh, you must have some in, well, I wouldn't say in his kitchen, because you can't have anybody knowing about this. But uh, I'm sure you could find some of it around. And I suspect that if he's been treating himself with it, it has taken a little bit of the spring out of his stride. Since he's already poisoned. Mm. Okay. Um, in the immediate vicinity around me, is there any food or anything that might have it? No, because you're right next to the restroom. I mean, someone could have pooped. Some <laughs> are you gonna you would like to roll an investigation check to search uh, through the privy for an entire clove I'm, of garlic? I'm gonna search the poop. <laughs> oh my. That sounds like uh, a good job for scrambles. So, <laughs> so, the so the and then and then I ask, do you have a plan for the dogs? Like the hounds are coming. There's a lot of them, and I'm not sure I even can survive the attack. Mm, yes, I was going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. Steve. This party is already a, a fantastic success. I've got what I want. Just got an Irish goodbye. <laughs> like, there's so much more happening. I got so much more stuff. Ah, uh, oh, the artifact. One. I said that. That is tempting. But there's a very important lesson that is something that rulers know that perhaps not everybody knows. I don't believe Which is goodness. not to get greedy. Okay. You take, when you have a win, you take the win. Um, unless you know what this artifact is, offhand. Um, does my my character doesn't know, right? Correct. I'm gonna lie and say I do. Okay, roll a deception check. All right. Oh, they, you don't know about the the sun the sunsuckle heart. I don't know where it is, but I do know oh. about it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Fuck. That's a natty 20. That is a natural 20. Mm. Oh, and she's going to part. pinch your dragonborn cheeks with her enormous claw. Uh, it's painful, but doesn't do any damage and says, tell you what, you come up with a better answer and we can talk about it, okay? All right. Well, before we have that answer, I do have one more question. What what do the hounds look like? Dogs. Like, just regular old dire wolves or regular old dogs? Oh, big what? scary dogs. You know, the kind that you leave in a chain out in your front yard so everyone thinks you're hard as fuck. <laughs> Can I go yeah. well, into something similar? It would be a dire wolf probably, right? It'd be a mastiff, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, actually okay. a dog. Um, I, I mm -hmm. take in front of her um, mm -hmm. as the mastiff and say, how do I look? ha <laughs> ha. Dogged. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then so oh. I probably look like the dogs. And what, I think my movement is like 
is increased now. I gotta get that sheet up. But before I do, um, I'm gonna go towards where I heard the voice in dog form. Okay. As far as I can go. And I'll say, Duchess, I'm gonna take the marquee down. Just what? Just just wait. Like a good boy. Like a good boy. <laughs> like a good boy. Wow, wow, wow. Later, darling. Later. All right. Is it an action to wild shape? <laughs> I think for this circle it is, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. You're able to get to the top of the stairs. Here you are. And from here, as you look out over the chamber, you can see a great hullabaloo around this door right here. All right. And that's where everyone is, right? It's... That's where the shouting is coming from. That's where all the noise is. Yep. Just trying to get close to that. Okay. Now, somehow I ended up skipping. All right. I think we're going to get this fixed back in because it is high time that it was Scramble's turn. Because again, I think it went out of order a little bit and I think we're back in shape. Scrambles, uh, two of the accountants have been blasted or stabbed in the brain. One of them just got like hit with this scorching smoldering power that left like charred flesh and a, and a uh, robe that's starting to burn around from it and going, Pum! Pum! but it's still alive yeah i um <laughs> i i tug i tug on the robe of the remaining accountant and i go hey i'm this is this is very this is very frightening and um then I ow 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 ow, oh, ah, ah. and then I um I take out my rapier and I stab him in the kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent! Roll one d twenty. The plot twist no one saw coming. Yeah, right. The stabber has become the stabbed. Yeah, yeah, I roll a yeah, one. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Has anybody given poor, poor Scrambles yes, any Scrambles inspiration? Yes, it's, I think Scrambles actually has two from an episode ago as well. All right, I'll let you catch that in. You can burn one of those and roll again. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> How tragic would it be? You finally, you have, a, you have a great line like that. You finally go for it and you throw your rapier into the fire. Like, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, a 15. That's much better. This person had exactly one hit point left, so they become stabbed in the kidneys and die from being stabbed in the kidneys too many times. Yeah, we got him! Yeah. It works Thomas perfectly. Exactly explains. Thomas walks over and, like, Flinch reaches off. down with the stubs and... Oh, puts I hands help, back on. I help him. I, 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 I take the hands and I put them back on and I go, Oh, are you all right? Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Um, absolutely. I've had worse. Thank you. Okay. okay. Just wanted to check your tendons, make sure. Okay. You're, you're all right. That's uh, not really a problem anymore. <laughs> oh, you still got that funny bone. <laughs> Is someone talking to Scrambles? Yeah. Scrambles. Uh, oh, Kaylin, yay. My hand is up, and my tattoo, my my scar is like still glowing. So, who oh. your who's your friend here? Oh, oh, Kaylin, and um, this is Tom. Um, I don't know. Um, friend I or foe? Oh, this is my friend Tom. Um, we've been getting on, yeah, like a house on fire. Um, I met him down in the catacombs, and um, we've just been stabbing up folks, and um, it's been fun. Um, yeah, no, Tom's great. You love him. Um. He um he's dead and um we uh we've just been having a a a, a, a killer time. Um Tom um Tom is recently single. Um uh we're all we're all divorcees and we're just gonna have fun in the castle going around and um Technically isn't he a widow now? Well yeah. if you wanna get Technical nitpicky, yeah. Okay. Um, Technically, the paperwork never fully got filed, but the the vows did say, till death do we part. So I think at this point, I'm off the hook. 
Well, you know, you get into this legal gray area with undis and yeah, because there's but... water anywhere in your oh, never mind. Suppose they could have helped. I, I look yeah. at the tree to my side, and I I'm just do... what the fuck. I I literally I just imagine this like weapons out like. I'm um I'm picking stuff up around the room, just kind of inspecting and you know, kind of looking at um, paperweights and other knickknacks and putting things in my pocket. And um Is there anything like of importance in this? Wait, room? are we still in initiative? We are still in initiative because they are following after you, but given that all the enemies in this room have been killed, we can have a slight interlude of little interactions like this, but I will call crap on it if it goes too far. Um, <laughs> on your turn, you may roll an investigation check because at the moment, with just a quick glance around, all you see is stacks and stacks of paper. There's a quill, there's some ink. Okay. Some little paperweights. There's a diploma, like not a diploma, but one of those plaques on the wall. Hey, uh, I I checked the diploma. Is it for um, Devroy? <laughs> no, it a, isn't. Unfortunately, BFA. Um, not a BFA. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was looking for one of those. Can I like throw one of my psychic blades, not to hit Scrambles, but to like pin that plaque right to the wall right next to him and be like, "We need to get the fuck out of here. We need to go." <laughs> See now, you, now you know how I feel. Yeah, this is why you just crap out. Just like, like, just one of those would be like, put it down. We need okay, to get Where out. do we stand on the, the, the whole killing the king issue? Oh, yeah, we was doing that. Um, well, I um, so you might not know the scrambles, but the Marquis has sent basically the entire castle after us. After he saw me apparently kill the... The, the the baronet, but um, Dimitri. By the way, that blade looks awfully fucking familiar. So it would seem that you had a hand in killing the baronet and setting this whole fucking thing off. So are would you, you are you accusing me? Absolutely, yeah. I am. I didn't do anything. Get him. You didn't. <laughs> okay. So how long have you been a pathological liar? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. I'm, sure I'm, gonna, I'm gonna flat out ignore and I'm gonna be like, you're lucky you're cute. And I'm gonna continue Aylin walking is really out. Awesome. Once you guys see the art, it's really good. Yeah. I'm like, you're lucky you're cute. And I yeah. I didn't do anything. You wanna mm -hmm. cast one of your little spells and see if I'm lying? No, sweetie. No. I I would not waste any of my spells on this situation <laughs> currently. However, you know, certainly if we're trying to get out of here, I don't know if you want to fight right now. I, I will don't want to mess up the pretty face anyways. It's fine. <gasps> we'll handle this later. Right now our necks are on the line. Scrambles is safe and uh Jack in the box is also whatever the fuck his name is. I don't fucking know. Um It's like, Tom. <laughs> Okay, Thank whatever, you. Beginning factory. Okay, cool. So, what why I want to know... Why is everyone so rude? It, it seems like there's some serious systemic dysfunction going on. We did That's save like... you. We did save you. Yeah, and I'm grateful. But I, I had it handled. I could have gotten out of it myself, but thank you. As I've already told you, the entire castle is on our heels, and we need to turn tail out of this room and figure out where the fuck to go next. Well... Dimitri, wait, Dimitri knows what I'm planning. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying if we were in initiative order, because I would have sent that message out to the Marquis. Okay, so then what I'll do is, like, as, you know, I'm being accused, as I'm being accused, I'm just gonna, like, get really dark and film noir, and I'm gonna... <laughs> Send a message Set to the marquee, and I'm gonna say, "Oh, this resting place—it looks delicious. It would be a shame if something happened to it." I can. Well, int intimidation or deception, please. Okay. Um, let me see. I don't know what I'm better at. Let me hold on. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Intimidation or deception? Intimidation. Boots. Ten. <laughs> Wait, I I have a 
plus eight to that. Oh, I rolled a two. <laughs> That's uh, what that was. Uh, <laughs> my. Chat has given you inspiration. You can re-roll that if you want. Please roll that. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Well. Show the gun. Hey, Marky Walky. And like, as I say it, I kind of like, no. I kind of like, I go, I sneeze all cute. And I'm like. Can you like, oh, I am the knight. Too, like, sorry. Didn't mean yeah. to. <laughs> sorry. I'm nervous. The boys crack. I burped and sneezed and farted at the same time on the stop. Uh, like, he heard every single one of them. I'm nervous. <laughs> None of those things actually happened. You just transmitted all those like thoughts, <laughs> all those sounds mentally. It is still a twelve though. You just hit a bunch of buttons on a soundboard. It's just... like a radio intro. Like maybe he's not scared, but maybe like I mean it's still like I'm letting him know that I'm in his shit that was a locked door. I'm in your base killing your dudes. All right. Does that work? Going back to you. Yes. You'll have to wait to find out. The rest of the guards, all dressed like you, are now charging up the stairs. They don't yeah. seem to be attacking you. They seem to be assuming that you are leading them in the correct direction, or at least that you're heading in the same direction as them. You can either go along with them or body block them. It's not your turn, so you can't take an active action just yet, but you can choose whether or not to participate. Oh, wait. I, wait, so they're behind me and we're all going up the stairs? Is that what's happening? Yes, yeah, so you've knocked the voice of Vondor and Zoth over the edge, but mm -hmm. after them, the guards came pouring through. Okay. I'm definitely going to yell up to everybody else and say, ah, fiend, we're coming, we're all coming up the <laughs> stairs, and we're coming fast. Hey, buddy. Chugga -chugga. So make, make, make sure it's loud enough. Like, Lower. obviously, like, like, Dimitri and them will recognize my voice, but I just want to make that very clear. <laughs> there are a lot of boots coming up. I have two, but I am not the only one. Roll a perception check if you are in this room. Does my back like, have to roll a perception check as well? You hit me like twice. <laughs> back could roll. I love Bombay as a side note. I love how this eye patch is like just kind of like shifted. Like as you're a shapeshifter, like this eye patch is just like moved in different positions. And it's like every time I look, it's somewhere else. And it's <laughs> my favorite is when you like lean below your camera and you come up and it's at a different spot. perception. Let's. We're gonna have perception from Kalen, Dimitri. Uh, bat and scrambles. Okay. Two. So our day. seven. <laughs> Jesus, I forget his new dice. Yeah, Dimitri's dice need to go to jail. Yeah, I'm still caught up in part sneezing, burping. <laughs> I see everything barely. <laughs> okay, scrambles. You you kind of heard the gist of lots of people are coming. Yeah. Okay, Kaylin, okay. you heard M's voice saying, "You know, ah, oh, let's go, all twelve of you." <laughs> Together, yes. Fuck. Okay. Um. Yes. It's not your turn. You can talk to each other, but you can't take any actions yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. M. Okay. M is uh, M. M is somewhere outside. Your 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 Lord and Savior M is uh somewhere out in the hallway. They have a crowd with them. So oh. just to give you help, perspective help, help. on what we're dealing with. Ah, oh, he's so clever. Huh? Relative. What? How big? Uh, I would say about, like, from what I... Uh, M said 12, I think. Oh. That was me. I can't, I don't want to put words in M's mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, I just said there was a lot of us. Okay, so M, <laughs> Math isn't M's strong suit. So well, their name is a letter instead of a number. Yeah. <laughs> from what I understood, there was a lot. A lot. Like neighborhood of 12, 15. A lot is just a lot. <laughs> okay. And I think a lot means that is probably a lot. A concerning like, number. Like a banana and split, huh? <laughs> That's a good one. I haven't heard that one yet. I fling another psychic dagger right <laughs> next to the <scramble. laughs> What is Shut with up. people today? I will eat you. 
I'm just here to have fun. I think he needs con your consent before that happens. Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> Jesus. Whose turn? I'm to no options. Don't mind me doing secret stuff. Doing some secret stuff. Okay, Kaylin, you're up. Okay. Um, I uh, am going to. Uh, Okay, before I do anything, um, I'm going to turn to Dimitri, uh, and I'm, uh, as, wait, you threw another psychic blade, right? Was that yeah. something you actually did? I've, okay. I've thrown two more since. So what? It was a cinematic psychic blade. Right. Yeah, yeah. It what, actually what? happened, so but it wasn't a... Basically, Ugh. after, like, after our little argument, I'm going to straight up insight check this shit for right. this deception game. You can roll insight, and then Androgen can sort of either roll deception against it, or just say what you would infer from it. I'm going to, um, I'm going to wiggle my nose and cast uh, guidance on myself. <laughs> That's an action. Perfect. I That's all I need. I kind of want to give myself disadvantage here because I'm sick of lying about it, but I just can't help it just out of survival. But I'm, I'm gonna, I'll roll deception. Mm -hmm. And add, yo, okay, so a thirteen, and you're gonna roll twice because of disadvantage, right? Eight. Okay. Okay. Alright, five over your roll. What would Kaylin infer? Um he's fucking lying. Lying. <laughs> um scared about it. I okay. I I don't know how much else you can infer other than the fact that you do you are aware of the emotional connection that this guy has and that it probably wasn't a decision made in the best mindset. So, from what I'm understanding, I there there seems to be a lot of conflict brewing inside you, and I, I also understood in the moment when the baronet died, I did observe you basically collapsed onto the floor. So a lot of things just aren't adding up, and if we are going to get out of this situation alive, it helps if we're honest with one another. Pretty faces or not. That's actually not bad advice. So, yeah, I think, yeah, I think this is really healthy. Fine. Fine. Walk and talk then. All right. And that's that's going to be what I say. All right. Kaylin, you use your action. You still have movement. And you can still talk. All right. And I will flash my black smoky eyes at Scrambles and I'll say, let's go. <laughs> you're heading back towards the room with the circle in it is that where you're headed the tower to get out of the yeah we're just i want us to leave this room finally yes distance distance yes uh let's as much distance as i can cover um okay and that'll be well, are we going upstairs like is there like a staircase so there is a passageway over here Oh, that leads to a staircase. Oh, There's a passageway see. down here. This is where Crescent has created, is working on the magic circle. Needs more time, but is working on the magic circle, which should be able hey. to imprison the marquee. What's up? Um, I, I, I don't mean to like meta game about this. Um, should we? I mean, Dimitri, uh, can you check? To, do you still have that connection with Bombay? Yes. Yes. Can you, can you, I know, them, right? Can you, can you ask them if we are more beneficial to join up with them? Yo, do we need to together? Do you need us? I don't, uh, I, I got, ideally, I got Kaylin and, um, and, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken here. Scrambles. <laughs> it's, I think it would be, if, yeah, I, it would be safer if you're here. Actually, stay, like, it'll be, be as close to this room without being in the room. Because if the Marquis enters, I want him to step into the trap. If he sees everyone in, he might have his guard up. I want him to just rush in and get caught in the middle. That and you still me. need more time to finish it. Yeah. Do you want us there or not? Like, not right now, no. No. Keep watch, no. I need more time. Buy me some more time. Buy you time. Um, Miss Thing wants us to buy him time. Hi. Like, oh, 
Yeah, like, like block, block the do- like you know, block the entrance with whatever physical thing you can. Like you know, if there's a bookcase, shove it in front of the door. It'll help you because there are lots of people coming anyway. So like barricade the door until we really need to let it loose. Let loose. Let loose. <laughs> and I'm like thinking of what I was just told, and I and I go to Kayla and I'm like, Crescent wants us to barricade him in. And to not. No. Can you no, run I, that I meant like, I mean like barricade wherever you're, because I know I know the path that is go, that the marquee is gonna take. I'm like wherever you are, if you're on the room where the where the where Bob the accountant was finding stuff, barricade yes, that door. door. Oh, barricade this where we where we are. Yeah. Because not only does it block the marquee, we barricade it's also... ourselves in with the group of people that are coming to kill everybody. Is that, am I about to get barricaded out? <laughs> that was about to happen. Yeah. You're gonna press it, dear. Um, as as brilliant as you are, you sound one eye less, and I, I think that's affecting you. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. Too far. You don't sound very perceptive, right? You don't, you don't sound very perceptive. I, that's not a good idea. Give me uh, another one. I I one. A, he's sensitive about the eye thing. Another psychic play next to the scrambles. <laughs> You're really gonna run out of these. I'm. I'm serious. I have a million. <laughs> You're gonna make. You keep. It's. It really freaks me out. Wait, Kayla, why wouldn't up, you do up, that? Up. Why wouldn't you do that? Because it'll keep the people out. There is a M. group of people coming to us. M is somewhere. Brutus is God knows where. So <laughs> but barricade the door so they don't get to you. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Stop clicking. I hang up. Um, <laughs> Kaylin, um, I'm not trying to, I, I'm sorry, you, you were right. I do have a lot of stuff going on, and, I'm, very, <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm a little confused, so bear with me. Crescent wants us to barricade their door, barricade our door, say just, you just your it. door. I, you, you, I got, hung, you got hung, hung up, up on, I, I got hung up on you. Um, no, no. I mean, the psychic link is still there, but I can, I, I can choose not to listen to you. It's, it's like my control. I'm so, going through a tunnel. You actually have like a, a waiting tone. It's like an elevator music. Like, oh, just... <laughs> so, um, it's let loose. And, <laughs> yeah, yes, it's let loose. Um, and Crescent wants us to barricade this. Okay. But, and I told them about M and Brutus, and they didn't seem to care. But I kind of care. Right, but uh, okay, okay. That 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 makes no sense. I, no, I, I agree. <laughs> However, um, do the bigger question is M. M is on their way. We are basically blockading them out of this room or access to us if we do this. So, do, but do then you again. Read- M doesn't exactly know where we went, so if we blockaded the door, they would Do you have any know... means of stealth? Do you have a magic thing that could... Because what you did was was pretty hot. It kind of took me out of my stupor. Do you have anything to, like... You have Misty Step, right? I have... So, last episode, I think I used both my spell slots. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, so, I'm, I, I, I'm I found start... my cantrips right now. I start walking up the wall, and I'm like, because if you can, then we can sneak up on these people. And I perch on the ceiling. And we can just start taking them out and save M. And Crescent, I don't know what Crescent wants us to do, but I'm not blockading. I, what, what, I, I have trauma with being blockaded. I am not. No, at I, this point, I... I hide under the desk. And I say... Tom, find a nook or cranny to hide in. Hey, scrambles. scrambles. No, it's a good You're... plan. No, 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 Ambush. No, no. Scrambles, I, I, I have a question for you. Do you have any healing abilities as a paladin? Oh, actually, I do. Can you? Okay. <laughs> I have holy healing or something. Or rather. I could have <laughs> I, oh, what, 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 what is it? Um, are any of those, what? are any of those cantrips? Um... Um, well, I kind of fell asleep <laughs> during that class, so I'm not quite familiar, and okay. 
Um, but if I'm just running through my memory, i.e. the internet, um, uh, I think You I can feel... lay on hands, so you can heal up to 35 points of damage every day. And you okay. can dish, just by touching someone, you can dish that out as you want. Is and you have a... a few paladin spells you can cast, which includes cure wounds. Those are, they're both limited resources, but you have access to both of those. I just, uh, well, the internet what? will be played by me. I, um... <laughs> I, uh, you know, I don't like to lead with this, I, but these... Well, because I am willing to... Um, I'm basically willing to fucking let Miz this shit in this room and, like, take out guard by guard. I just need to be... Oh, like, it's a fun Wait, just... I have, I have a quick question. Uh, Tom the Skeleton is dressed as a guard, right? Okay, let's so make sure I understand the scene. Okay. Tom, Tom, you're dressed as a guard. Why don't you talk to them? Talk to them, trick them. Trick them. Be like, I saw them um, go that way and then point <laughs> at the other door. Oh, but, make sure, but if you see M, like, make sure. Oh my God. I just want M to. We, we just, need to go get M. I'm quick. Like, I'm quick. Trick the other guards. No who M is. M we can tell them that we us. don't want to kill the king when we really do want to kill the king. And that'll trick them, right? Yeah. That'll get them good. Yeah. <laughs> I look at Kaylin with desperation. Okay. We can't leave them out there. That poor thing. That poor thing. That poor thing. Well, I'm gonna hide. Tom, you tell them when they get here to go that way, which is away from uh, Crescent in the other direction. If I'm getting the gist of it, I'm only six years old, so you'll bear with me. <laughs> but I'm pretty good at directions. Um... So I'm going to hide because I'm very small. I'm going to hide under the disc. Then I get under here. I don't want to split the party, but I'm very quick. So that's why I'm saying, Kaylin, if you want to come with me. But, but like, I just, yes. I think it's so fucked up to barricade ourselves in here and leave Maddie out there. I like, don't want to do I'm, that. I don't want to do that. Well, then don't. <laughs> Let yeah, them come in. Stand here and just do a, like a jig either. Like, I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. How close am I? Yeah, I'm in a pickle. <laughs> I pull Dimitri in and I go, let them in. I have no more out. actions other than just movement. So I am just going to put myself near the door that is not the, the like, there are two exits out of this room, correct? There are three ways in and out of this room. This door is where everything bad is coming from. Okay. This door leads to the magic circle that's being prepared. This okay. door is pretty much unexplored at this point. And there's no door here. It's just a passageway. So you have two doors and over here. To answer your question, Brutus Betterbottom, you are over here. There is no oh, okay. obvious way from here to here unless you go downstairs. So your path to reach them is going to lead you... A couple turns back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Although you are a little bit faster now. Because I'm a dog. Yeah. Because cool. you're a dog. I got that dog in me. I have a brilliant idea. I just I'm, thought of it. I'm what if we barricade the door? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> no, and then if we get a, like a little hole, I can, I can just throw my shit through it. Well, if we, that's this is, I, I can't believe what I, I was thinking this. too. I was thinking Tom could go outside the door, act as a guard, <laughs> distract them, and you could literally be looking through a crack through the door. And try to psychic blade anyone that tries to come into this room. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. So wait, would I be outside or inside? Inside, you you'd be looky loo on the inside. They're just in terms of actual then... actions, it is Kaylin's turn still, and there are other people in the initiative order. K keep planning. Right. I just want to let you know there's gonna be an order right, to right, this. Right. Yes. Yeah. You can plan it out. It's just gonna happen in initiative order. Mm -hmm. so I'm working on my cardio. Y'all just let um, me know. <laughs> Now that you've decided I'm on, I'm on the Stairmaster, you just... Dimitri, now that you've decided to follow my plan, do you want to call me up again? Here's what I'd love to think. I'd love to think that this entire time, Andrew's been transmitting but not listening. And I don't have the power to say that, but how funny would that be? I'm just trying to call him, like, pick up. Pick up, pick up. Bombay has heard yeah, every I, word. You just yeah. hear, you've heard all, sorry, go ahead. No, no, that, I mean, honestly, like, his brain is still a little not there. Like, he, he, he you know, he has medicines that he takes. So, I, I do believe hey. that maybe, like, he was like, I'm, oh. 
I'm going to take myself out of this equation right the fuck now. I am just going to move myself towards... I'm going to put myself in the doorway towards the passage that's leading to Bombay, and I'm going to end it. Okay. Like, I, I need to move on. <laughs> fuck it. Do we want to go to Bombay? Uh, but in a couple of initiative forget it, turns. Forget it, forget it, forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, because go, 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 go. meanwhile... Zoth Tuxag, who has been knocked down twice, stands up <laughs> again, flies back up again, is no longer smiling dementedly, is now unbelievably angry. I would like you to roll a performance check, please, M. Oh, or deception. Okay. I'll take either. A performance BFA. or deception? Yeah, they're probably the same, but I will take either here. <laughs> it's all the same for me, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. No! Hi. No. Do you? Do you, feel you, you, you have you, you have an inspiration too? Have you oh, done yours yet? Damn. I have not. No, yeah, I have inspiration. Yeah. If you want to burn that, you can roll again. Um. Yeah. Uh, let's check it out. Let's go for the other one. Otherwise, you go. Nyak 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 nyak. Dress like a guard. Um, it, it, yeah. It's, it's um. <laughs> and, just like, like Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> Um, and it's Mamish Damata and Alpha's Acer who keeps giving us these inspirations. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Zoth Tuxag flies up, sees all of these guards in a row. Knows it's got to be one of the three in front. And just starts shooting fire from his hands. And is shooting randomly. The first one goes right for you. Just luck of the draw. I don't know which one of you mother did this, <laughs> but as far as I'm concerned, you're all worthless and you can all die. And roll the nap. One, another third nap. One. Why does hey. this keep happening to this me? Is a god. This guy. He's so god. weak. <laughs> He's so weak. Do it again. Do it again. He's so dramatic. <laughs> I, I don't know who the fire. Fire. What about that girl, which bounces off. And just lands directly in their face, doing no damage because they're immune, but shit, and they go flying down again. Oh, no. Oh, he sucks. I, I, I feel power emanating through me. It's not actually happening, but I feel like I can. It's like a pseudo power. I'm like, holy shit. Am I the god? Am I? Is it me? Am I the god? Am I the marquee? <laughs> Dimitri, it's your turn. Okay. Um. So then I see Kaylin, uh, go into like because you're 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 you went into like the nook, right? You didn't go to leave. No. Or did you go to? No, leave? I'm just putting myself at the ready, ready to bolt or whatever. Okay. Um. Oh God. You want to know what? I look at the fireplace and I see the burning books. And I go, Shrimp, you? Oh, yeah. It's not a, um, it's not a, it's not a political thing. I just hate reading. No, no, it's <laughs> less, because that actually might have been a good idea. And I think I'm going to torch the room. Hell yeah. Oh, oh distraction. Well, signal, too. So I like fire. I yeah. do, and I, at the very least, what I'm going to do is I will, um, um, line up books against that door. And start torching, like torching that door and that. Well, not to like burn the door. Like that's not what I want. I just want a. <laughs> I want a barricade in a way that Bombay did not think of. I want a. I want, <laughs> I want like a, a barricade of of fire and 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 flame. So maybe like I, maybe I actually will start putting like wooden stuff in front of it, and then I want to set it ablaze. Um, that's not a bad I, idea, actually. Can I, can I still be standing here? It seems like you're working on something. <laughs> and... Actually, okay, can, uh, scra uh, uh, Scooter, can you please tell, <laughs> can you please tell your friend to go find our friend, your, uh, god? You, I'm right here, you can just talk to me, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, his name's Tom. I'm a person. Well, um, you oh, were. Thanks. So Temecula, um, yeah, I would, I would do that. Yeah. Temecula. Uh, 
Mr. Mr. I, I have no stake in any of this operation, so right. I don't have to put up with this abuse. All yeah, right. Y'all, y'all bullying him. He's my friend, and like you fucking. Can I use him for the fire? Can I throw Tom into the fire? Uh, <laughs> you'll have to do it. You'll have to do it over my dead body. Kaylin, please you fucking... grab, 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 and I, and I, I'm gonna toss, I'm gonna toss Tom into the fire. No. no. I, I get in the way. I get in the way. <laughs> there is run. not time for infighting right now. I this run is what's going to be the PvP is whether or not we torch the skeleton who just I, wanted to be called by his name. I run between Tom and Dimitri and I put my rapier to his throat. You can't reach. I put it to, I put it to your groin. <laughs> And I go watch the goods, watch the goods, and I, I, and I, say, I back up, I back up no. and I go, I go honestly, little man, fuck you, <laughs> and I'm going to go past Kalen and head to Crescent. No, wait, wait, oh. I, 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 I made the barricade, I set it on fire, and then I'm gonna. Okay, no, no, okay. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna spider climb, go on the ceiling, perch like Batman, and stealth. Okay. The fire has started to build up because it was built directly where Tom is standing, and he's not taking fire damage yet, um, but he's going to need to move on his turn. You okay, Tom? You okay? You're on fire. It seems like a really small barrier to cross to achieve your objectives to just treat me like a person, because I would have I would have been glad to help, but, you know, there's just a lot of undealt with trauma in this room. Yeah. And that does not need to be my problem, okay? You need to transform your pain, not transmit your pain, okay? Yeah, good on you, Tom. Fucking see him perfect. himself, but, like, his ear goes down. That was the <laughs> advice, dude. That was Fucking really perfect. Good. You know, you may be rotten, but you've got a heart. Oh, God. Like, someone should have got inspiration for that. that. the way you meant it, not the way you said it. Thank you. <laughs> give, give him more inspiration for that. That was yeah. Well. That was good. That, that was, was good. Great. I like that. Yeah, that was really cute. All right. All right, Crescent, you are casting the spell and trying desperately to get somebody to pick up the phone. <laughs> uh, is the spell still being casted? It takes ten rounds to cast. You're on like round two or three. <laughs> oh, I promise. Just... Next session, we're not going to make you sit there for the entire first hour and a half sure. all right i promise okay. we're not going to do it like that oh I, I critted i natural 20 on stealth so i don't exist in this campaign anymore okay <laughs> you can go ahead and disconnect uh my bat's gonna fly <laughs> uh, towards the marquee mm -hmm. towards the sound of the marquee it's gonna go over the fire uh which uh how close does it get like where where does the bat yeah, your move speed's 30 right so you you yeah. could go yeah you know, not to take over but just to take over here real quick Zoop, this far do I see the marquee? No. But you would okay. start to echolocate the guards in this room, and there are five of them. Okay. Um, okay, and I, and I can't, like, once I'm casting the spell, I can't really move, right? You can move anywhere as long as you're still touching the perimeter of the circle. You can't leave that area of the circle. Got it. I'm going to, I'm going to use my perception to check if I can, like, to see if there's a hiding place in this room on the roof mm -hmm. maybe you know anywhere mm -hmm. uh so. let's see so there are hmm, there's not a whole lot here like if you can climb yeah. on the roof then sure or if you can make yourself fireproof and hop in the fireplace then yes other than that there's precious little cover in here okay cool oh uh, what else could i do apart from finish this spell mm. hey i can i can there's nothing else I can really do apart from just keep... Oh, I... Uh... I can... Like, my plan eventually is is to disguise myself as the Baroness. Mm -hmm. uh... mm. uh, there's nothing really I can do right now. You're sacrificing your time right now in an attempt to completely negate the fact that the Marquis has, like, 80 coffins on property. Yeah. I saw that map. Doing. I only saw one. Pretty sweet. You weren't down in the catacombs. Fucking flexing. This, 
this place is lousy. But if you can trap him in here so he can't reach any of his yeah. backup coffins, like you're you're pulling a good maneuver here. It's just yeah. gonna take some upfront investment. Like my plan is eventually we trap him here, kill him, mm -hmm. and if he runs to his hiding spot, like his resting place, we know where it is. We can just go and finish him. In the at the end of the first episode, they discovered that there are the the crypt down below has a whole bunch of coffins in it that he can use as backups. But if he's trapped inside the circle, he can't mm -hmm. get out and he can't reach his place. And you might be able to kill him that way. Because he would obviously go for like the main one first. Is, is... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... So again, you're making a big play here. It's just, it has a long wind up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wind it up. <laughs> right. I mean, the whole point of turning, the whole point of disguising myself into the Baroness is that even if it doesn't work, he has no idea I was behind it. Exactly. Plausible you know? deniability. Yeah, every, like, I love y'all, but y'all are not picking up my calls. You don't listen to what I'm saying. Stealing I mean, your I'm... ideas. It's just stupid love. The, the elevator music is now like, like the iPhone okay. version of stupid love. Uh, I don't think, I don't, damn, I don't know if there's anything else I can do apart from just prep. I think um, once your bat gets into position, you'll have a few more options. But until then, yeah. you are hoping to uh, completely sabotage the entire dungeon, which is a good thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to concentrate more on this. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to like keep adding like finishing touches, you know, dotting my eyes, crossing my T's on this. You get one spell. word wrong here and you accidentally open a portal to the yeah. lower planes. You got I'm still trying pieces. to call up. I'm still trying to call Dimitri. I'm like, hi, please fuck up. <laughs> Your call is important to us and yeah. will be answered yeah. in the order in which it was placed. And in, in Dimitri's <laughs> room, while it's on fire, she, like he's listening to Telephone by Lady Gaga and Beyonce. She doesn't have much telephone. While my friend is burning. It's, uh, it's unique, but Donald Duck. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. You <laughs> I'm, oh, let me see. There's nothing. Yeah, there's. N <laughs> yeah, there's. Oh, I'm, you know what? I, I, I'm going to use my action just to, like, because I'm, I'm just going to disguise into the Baroness. Mm -hmm. I'm just, okay. I'm just going to so, preempt it. You can go ahead and you can take care of that right now in disguise, still forming yeah. the circle. Let yeah. us turn now as tonight's adventure draws towards its close oh. to M who is in a room with four guards, one extremely annoyed half-fiend, and a <laughs> demented cultist who just, he's gonna fucking do it again. He just got up, got up and he's Thanks. starting to walk back up. You, all these guards are looking at each other like, what did we do? You're at the head and the guards don't know M. They, they fail to suspect. Now is your moment. What will you do? Okay, so so all the guards are following me. I'm dressed as a guard. We just got attacked mm -hmm. for no reason. I'm going to knock my bow, turn around, and say, we're being attacked from the rear. <laughs> Shoot my arrow. Smart. Shoot my arrow and then continue to run upstairs. Okay, so use your action, and because the Cambian landed flat and prone again, you have advantage on this <laughs> shot. And you are a level 5 ranger, which means with one action, you can shoot two arrows. Do awesome. Do then you roll twice? Uh, yeah, if you actually, on your character sheet, if you just click on the longbow, which is in the middle column, that oh, will roll for you. And advantage is already turned on, so go ahead and give it that shot. Shot one. Maybe. Wait, no, it's thinking not. about it. Thinking about it. Oh, whenever I click on longbow, it just opens up the text box for type. What's happening? Oh, I did, I, scroll up. You got to go f farther up. There's a longbow that says, like, name, attack. Yeah, it's attacks and spellcasting. It should be there. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, no. I feel Send so. a screenshot of it next time. It'll make it a little easier to find. It should be in the middle of your page above your inventory and below mm -hmm. your hit points. So it says current hit points. You go down one temporary. Oh, I see it. Okay, okay. All right. Come Yay. on, baby. Shot one. Okay, a 15. Does that hit? Ooh. It does not. Zoth no. Tuxag is wearing heavy scale mail just covered with plates of armor. So it glances off of them 
You can take a second shot, however. Let's oh, do it. Father. A 17. That one also bounces off. Yeah. Doing, oh. doing. Ah. M is actually better in hand to hand combat than using bows. <laughs> But ah. you, you, you've shot your shot. You still have movement. Is there anything else you want to do? I continue running up the stairs, but with that yelling out, we're being attacked from the rear, shooting, mm -hmm. showing where the supposed attacker is. Do I need to roll like a deception check for that with like all the guards yeah. or? Yeah, you can roll deception. I'm going to turn off advantage to just make it a flat roll because there's so much just chaos going on. But go ahead and click yeah. on deception on your character sheet and it should roll for you. Okay. That'll be on the left hand side with your skills. Oh, no. Oh my god, M. <laughs> you need to pray. 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 Yeah. No. <laughs> I question Did anyone buy inspiration again? I... <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. Uh, Am I inspired? Uh, um, no. I think mm. the only person, because I, I gotta say this name, Ryder Long and Hard um, gave <laughs> Bombay uh, inspiration a while ago. Oh, actually, redeemed inspiration just happened. And there you go. And you're covered. <laughs> One more time. Just roll again. Take the better of the two. Sell okay. this. Like your life depends on it. Because it kind of does. Come on. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I really I really question the RNG on this thing for real. <laughs> Bravo. Let's get dice cams. Let's just do it. <laughs> the next phase of our evolution. All right. right. So you keep running and uh, no. When you like make your way out into the hall with all the gargoyles, uh, you mm -hmm. stop for a moment and nobody seems to be behind you. What? Except, yeah, weird. They they seem to have stopped, but pushing past them no. is no. a man in armor with gilded lines of gold around it, casually tossing a little ball of unholy fire back and forth. With a serrated obsidian longsword in the other hand, just strolling towards you. He was in the party room earlier, but he did not have all these accoutrements. Oh. So, uh, where'd you say we were being attacked from? <laughs> and that is where we end our adventure. For <laughs> Dramatic. Uh, Three episodes. We still we're so close. Every time we get the party closer and closer, it's like polar magnets. We can't quite do it. Oh man. Well, uh, as always, this has been a ton of fun. I appreciate all of you for giving your time and talent. I appreciate yeah, everybody right. who has watched. I appreciate our sponsors for supporting us. Wow. Um, Orc Style. Thank you for the shout. Super super appreciated. Be sure to check them out, everybody. And uh, yeah, is there anything else, team? Mm -mm. So thank, thank you for whatever gave me the inspo. No, it was the main. Yes. Sorry. Okay. What? <laughs> I got everyone at once. Everyone at once, go! <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to actually come back. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you next time, folks. See ya! Goodbye! May the dark forces arise! Bye! <laughs>